Hello everyone, we're here on the second weekend of Fun the Charity Room, Charity vs. Room. So, yeah, it's time for me versus Caddy in Cash Banuka 3 Rat. <laughs> that is the name of the game, that's uh, official. You guys managed to choose Crash Bandicoot 3 Warp thanks to your donations. And uh, before we get started, this little thank you guys very much for not only coming back for the second weekend of the Charity Room, now we're doing things a little differently this year. But uh, I can see that you guys are up and about just like we are, and probably like us, you're very tired. Uh, but we're happy to have you back for our second weekend of this event. And I mean, with that said, uh, we have Ryan here. We have uh, Caddy on the right screen. Uh, no, uh, Caddy's on the left screen. Ryan's on the right screen. Uh, I will be reading donations along with Stefan. Stefan is also here. Say hi, Stefan. Yeah, hi. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, and uh, as always, if you want to make a contribution, uh, big or small, does not matter. You could find a donate button at the bottom of the page. Uh, you can also just visit the Charity Rooms Tiltify page. I think we have like the, the Twitter page and everything below the video player has all the links that you need uh, to make a contribution if you want. Uh, all I ask is if you could ask me to do voice impressions, please supply me with whatever you want me to read. And <laughs> don't assume that I already know. I have not watched that movie in years. So that said, uh, do we want to get things going? I'm ready whenever you are, uh, Caddy. Yeah, I'm. I am. I am ready. It's it's crash. Like, of course, right. I'm ready. All so, right. So, uh, uh, John, you want to count us down? Yeah, I will count down on zero. You guys will jump into the portal. All right. Five. Wait, wait, wait on wait on zero. As in three, two, one, zero, or okay, three, on, two, one. Three, two, one on the zero. Like we're okay, doing a brain cool, scratch awesome. session. You jump into the portal. All right. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, two. Two, one, <laughs> zero. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Crash. And they're off. This is the first time I have speed run Crash Three completely. Like, I've I've never I've only ever done the the relics. So this is yeah, this is have, new to me. Well, that's the thing though, because getting the platinum relics, as you have done, uh, much to the detriment of your mental insanity. Uh, it does require you to play these stages pretty fast, and I'm wondering if that, if any sort of muscle memory is going to pop up in the middle of this race. And to be uh, honest, probably not, because you've got to do the, all this like glitchy running and jumping yeah. and shit. Like it, at least with the relics, you just have to just like hold R2 and go. You know, <laughs> that's but... it. Yeah, that's that's all you have to do. Oh, I, forgot how, I forgot how good this is on PC, dude. This is so good on fucking PC. It's almost annoying that this isn't the version that we got immediately out the gate. Because all the trailers look like this, and then the game just looked like... It looks great, but like it just looked a little bit worse than the trailers, and that was that was really disappointing at the time. So we also want to make sure that we don't skip any crystals in this race, either, because guess what? <laughs> you cannot uh, advance the game without collecting any crystals. No, oh. I'm not speaking from experience. Of just absolutely just running past a crystal. Look, look, you, you, look, you forgot the crystal in Wrath of Cortex. That's that's understandable. Yeah, yeah. That, that's no, totally I mean, I, understandable. I, I've done that in uh, I, I've done that in the old games too. It's been a long time because they're really hard to miss in the old games. But uh, yeah, Wrath of Cortex, I'm absolutely guilty of just running past the fucking thing. <laughs> Firstly, want to quickly explain some of the stuff you can look forward to today. Today's daily raffle for just five bucks can let can uh, enter you into uh, a bunch of unopened Pokemon cards. I'm not sure exactly what boxes they are, but hey, you're gonna get a chunk of unopened Pokemon cards. <laughs> you get Caterpie and Caterpie and Caterpie. Maybe, just maybe, a Weedle. And there's, of, and there's, of course, the $20 event raffle, which is the Switch OLED, which will be going on until the end of the event. Uh, st right after this game will be me and Ryan playing either Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Game or TMNT Shredder's Revenge. And that'll be going until uh, this crash race is done. So right now, Shredder's Revenge is still winning, but you guys can put in for whichever one you want. And that'll be closing off after the race is done. I say we don't give Scott Pilgrim a chance and just <laughs> make sure Shredder's Revenge just absolutely massacres the dude. And also, reminder, at the end of today, we have two bid wars closing off. The Pac-Man 99 versus Tetris 99 bid war, whichever one I'll play. I think you should go to Pac-Man 99. <laughs> and then also the Marvel versus Capcom bid war with whatever game John and Travel play. Currently, one is in the lead, but two is about $100-ish behind. Mm. That's actually pretty hype because I, I I love both games, but I, I have to aesthetically give the the card to the first Marvel vs. Capcom. 
uh, and we got a couple donations. Uh, first was a $10 donation from Juan Delgado. I have some sad news. My grandmother has passed away at 87 years old, so I would like some good vibes right about now. I'm oh, so uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, your condolences for your loss, uh, JC. Uh, JC is a, uh, uh, a usual over my Twitch. I think a couple of other Twitches. Uh, so, uh, very, sorry, very sorry for your loss, JC. But yeah, you, you're definitely, well, hopefully, we can provide the good vibes here. I'm not sure. Not, not guaranteed. We're not that podcast. Yeah, I, know, I, never, I never feel equipped to, to be the person that's like, um, because people say that in my stream sometimes. I'm like, mm. you wait, you came to me of all people? All right, okay. That's fine. <laughs> hey, so therapy, that's is, therapy's expensive. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. I really I just died. Have my money. <laughs> We also got uh, $20 from Pork the Irish. Hey guys, I'm finally off work for the week, so now I can watch these streams live and in person. Can't wait for the laughs tonight and for the rest of the weekend. And now that I'm here, expect some quite interesting facts as the days goes on. Best of luck, Ryan and Caddy. And Caddy, Spyro is coming. It is. It very much <laughs> is. <laughs> very, I, very close. Last time I checked, it was like 4,000 away, so I don't know what I'm on now. Can I ask that picture that you posted yesterday? Was that Spyro related, or are you just you can you, you can are you just are you just you ready? Can, are you just really excited for She Hulk? You you are you can ask about that picture, but you're not gonna get an answer. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Just figured I. Uh, if, uh, if, if it makes if, if it makes you feel any better, it was for a one and a half second gag in a video. <laughs> <laughs> The, the the joys and angst of the content creator. Yeah, the, the, the guess the guessing is is very um interesting. I've I've been seeing some guesses on on Twitter and uh, like I, I I can see where people are coming from, but everybody's wrong. No one's Uncle, getting it right. Uncle, I know you're watching the chat. I will uh, I will acknowledge that I received your text. I'm not reading that out though. though. <laughs> Hello, Trav. Morning, oh, you're Trav. kidding! I died. My first death. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we got uh, $10 from Shard. Hey guys, ready for another great weekend, starting out with Daddy, Caddy, and Ryan. Good luck to both Rachers and Cash Panuka 3. Uh, $5 from, uh, what is his name? Uh, Publix Consumer <sighs> Service. Good morning, all. I've recently been promoted at my job to full time customer service, so I got work on the brain. Question Has anybody here been fired from a job or been completely chewed out by their boss before? Keep up the good work. I look forward to this every year. Yes, actually. I've been chewed out by the boss. Uh, it was my first paid job. Uh, uh, my first, like, official job, I'm not counting the time I was a bar back at a nightclub <laughs> when I was in high school. Uh, I used to work at Rita's, Rita's Waterhouse uh, for three seasons right out of high school. And uh, I did an oopsie involving uh, giving my boss's number to a complaining customer because they were not leaving. And... Uh, that's, that sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I accidentally gave her the boss's number to get in contact with somebody because she was going to file a complaint, and the boss got so fucking angry at me. Because it's essentially doxing. Like, I doxed the dude. Uh, and I, I was young. <laughs> I was inexperienced. Miraculously, I was not fired. Uh, but uh, still, that was a... Yeah, that was a scary moment. So what? What just? I've I've heard that expression a lot, but I don't know. What does it mean being chewed out? What does that? What does that mean? Just yelled you're at. getting yelled at. Yeah. Um, okay. Experiment saying uh, for 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 decking a customer in the face on a retail job because he got too aggressive and need a reminder of their place. <laughs> Hashtag based. <laughs> Okay, so okay, getting chewed out isn't something that I can say that's happened to. Damn it, I got nitro. This is what I, I can't talk while I do this. This hey, is very difficult. Same. Ah, where are we? Yeah, so I didn't get chewed out, quote unquote, for this, but um, there was one time I barely flopped into the lava. Of course I did. Um, there was one time um, I was working uh, as a cashier at a, a supermarket called Waitrose, and I come downstairs for my Saturday shift. And um, my manager at the time looks at my face and scowls. And I'm like, oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> and it turns out it wasn't a scowling face of, oh, I've done something bad. It was a, a face of disgust. It was pure like, Ugh, what are you doing to yourself kind of face? And it turned out it's because I had had a little bit of stubble growth and they forced me up into the bathroom to shave it. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that was that was the lowest moment of my my career life, yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, I'm gonna be a YouTuber now. <laughs> I've had something similar happen to me where I was working at fast food in high school, but I had a jaw surgery for various reasons, so 
functionally speaking, my face was numb for about three weeks. I could still oh, work God. and still talk, but I couldn't, like, feel, like, my chin or anything, so shaving was very hard. Because, mm. obviously, I don't want to press hard and, you know, <laughs> cut myself wide open. So I had some stumble, and I'm like, hey, you need to, you know, shave and stuff. It's like, I literally can't feel my face. Please. The thing is, the thing is yeah, that's that. the thing, though, because, like, it, was, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, you know, like, weedy puberty hair. It wasn't like that. It was just a bit of a stubble, and it was just, oh, yeah, we, we don't, like, unless you have a beard going into the job, like, you, you can't grow one. So you either have one or you don't. Like, there's no in-between stage. And that was, it just, it, yeah, I, like, that's so demeaning. Like, I can't believe they were allowed to say that to me. I would at say all. at that point, you just make up a religion that can let you keep your beard. That is a great idea. Yeah. That is such but a good idea. If I have this beard, I will literally die. You don't want me to die, do you? Yeah. yeah. You hate me. We have uh, $5 from Ace, no comment. Thank $60. you very much. $60 from Joseph Sanchez. Won't be able to stick, a stick around long, so I hope everyone has a good time. Uh, we, uh, we got one. Daddy, uh, Caddy, the second I joined was not expected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, this, this, next one has a re uh, this next one has a reading comment, so John, okay. if you want to read this one. Sure, hold on. Uh, $10 from Ian Bo. I've been looking forward to this race in particular. After getting the Platinums in all three games, I'm slightly sick of Crash's pill feet, <laughs> but these games are still great. Can Johnny as Bentley say, Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Legit, Ian, that's always the first thing that pops in my mind every time I see the, the, the Crash Bandicoot 3 boss portals. Yeah, that's the same thing with me as well. I was, I was gonna, the problem is I'm not, very, I'm not a very fast editor for meme kind of stuff, but the first thing I was like, I saw that clip and I was like, I need to just have Cortex on screen. Because <laughs> it was so perfect. Yeah. But, you know, I was too slow. Someone we beat got, me. To we it. got a double whammy though, because we had the Jordan Peterson one and we also had like the the the, the painfully recreated Crash Bandicoot one cutscene with like uh, with Neo Cortex like saying an Alex Jones clip or some other shit. That, and well, it was so it good. was so painstakingly made. It was it was really great. The behind the Did scenes. See, videos really like that just says to me that PS1 3D is an aesthetic and it's something that can be recreated. Yeah. And more games need to look like that, I think. Hey, Spike Vegeta in the Twitch chat. Yo, uh, dude, uh, use all your like uh, GDQ powers to like bring, bring all the donos in <laughs> to like, uh, help, us, uh, help us reach our goal of $15,000 before the week's end. Much appreciate Spike. Nice to see you again, dude. Let's see yes, yeah, because if we if we raise fifteen thousand dollars by the end of Sunday, we will unlock incentive day number two, which will give us Linky's uh, Sonic Crowd Control bid war, where he'll play either Sonic Mania or Sonic Heroes Crowd Control, as well as the Sonic 06 uh, relay race between uh, me, John, and experiment against uh, Steven, uh, Kevin, and Chris. And then one final secret incentive that you'll find out once we unlock a fifteen k. But I think you all really like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got a couple more. Uh, $5 from Peppa Pig. Hi, James. I had so much fun with you. Hope you've all liked my plan to ruin YouTube. Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, what favorite show did you watch as a kid? PBS, Nick Jr., and such. Uh, don't think I'm done. You still have unfinished business, Caddy. <laughs> yeah, and based on the fact that you called me James, I'm not answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. What was the question? I was, t I was concentrating. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> favorite show that you watched as a kid, like PBS, Nick Jr., etc. Oh God, what channel? Um, well, just on a show, like on anything, like yeah, uh, like a show. Uh, yeah. Uh, God, as a kid, well, I, I, it depends on age, I guess. Like young kid, up until embarrassingly enough, about eleven years old, probably Thomas the Tank Engine. Hey. Nice. Man. Uh, Ryan, oh, yeah, on, your next, on your in next the corner there. screen, Ryan, can you lower the game audio just a smidge? Yeah. I, th yeah. I thought it might be a tad loud, but... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I was also... I loved Rugrats as a kid as well. Rugrats is very good, yeah. Those are, uh, there's a, a lot of shows that I've been meaning to revisit that I watched all the time as a kid that I just, like, I know I'll have a deeper appreciation of as an adult. Rugrats is probably... Well, at least early season Rugrats well, yeah, is one the, of those. All the adult interactions that you just didn't yeah. get as a kid. Because I'm still a, laughing at a lot of stuff. You're an absurd proposition. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny as well, because the the other day I was um, clearing out, because um, I, I was having an office refurb, and I was clearing it out, and um, I rediscovered um, some... The, the the 12 talismans from Jackie Chan Adventures. I collected a load of like their like their proper like metal key ring, really glossy, high quality things, and I collected them from magazines back when I was a kid. So that was kind of cool. I rediscovered them. <laughs> 
That was a good, so, that I remember, I remember watching Jackie Chan adventures a lot. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, $25 from Kyle Brost, no comment. Uh, $10 from Ranges. Morning, guys. This will be my last donation for the event. For this occasion, here's a question for me. Considering that it's been about 10 or so years since New Super Mario Bros. U originally released, what do you guys think the next 2D Mario will be like? Uh, same as every other 2D Mario. I was gonna say, yeah, you, you, run, you run right and jump, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe the question is more about the aesthetic of the game. Because I would like to be more on the optimist again and think that they're done with the new Super Mario Brothers aesthetic because the last time they used that correct me if I'm wrong was for Mario Run the app game and that I was think, I think that you're going to get to the end of the game and Peach is going to finally be like oh Mario thank you so much for saving my life and she's going to like bring him in for a kiss and then he's going to shove her to the floor and just snog Luigi. <laughs> and it turns out that for like 30 years he was secretly gay and just he was he so he Absolutely. never yeah and he, it wasn't Let's it wasn't because, yeah it wasn't because it wasn't because um, Peach was being a bitch it's just because he he wasn't allowing Peach to come near him which would be great. <laughs> like Mario was the power play the whole time. It was he was doing it by choice. He picked me up when you let me down. Exactly. Uh, and and also they're not related. <laughs> oh yeah, can't, you can't, can't do not Mario blood related. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so now we need so now we need an edit of um like the Aremo Aremo, which is an anime cover, but it's like my, my twin Italian brother can't possibly be this cute. Oh my god, that's, that's a really obnoxiously long crunchy roll uh, title. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got a twenty dollars from Mako uh, Hayashi. No comment, just good vibes. Wait, is this a comment? Damn. Hmm. Uh, to go back to Rangers quick, because we actually didn't really answer the question. Oh. Uh, to go back to it, but listen, as long as they just drop the new Super Mario Brothers aesthetic for whatever two D game they might or uh, might not have planned, that's all I can really ask for. Okay, it'll be a two D sprite based uh, Mario three like game but it has that like post-processing that those uh 2d rpgs i think yeah hd2 no dude you say that HD like 2D. almost in jest but i would love hd2d mario oh no i think that it would be fucking awesome <laughs> yeah i would love that or just give us mario maker 3 <laughs> on the wii u yeah make I, it yourself I, yeah, fuckers yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking that at this point they're just gonna be like yeah screw it do it yourself yeah well, how, say, like, at this was. point mario maker 3 would be a game developer's degree like that it's just going to school at that point oh, one and, of those uh, things where, where I'm just I was always familiar with Lunar Magic before Mario Maker even came out so it's kind of like congratulations yes, you're doing things modders have been doing for ages now <laughs> oh and uh, uh, Experiment's asking if he can join too yeah I was trying to find the right time to bring that up uh, he can if he wants yeah I think that'll be about it for the. Yeah, room. we're gonna we're gonna leave it with experiment because we do not want it to get overcrowded in here. Yeah, uh, you can continue with the donations, Stefan. Uh, let me see. Uh, twenty dollars from Dragon X Zero. You guys have all been a co big constant as I've grown up. Me being twenty three now, I finally have a job at Wawa, meaning spendable income. Love all your guys' content, and I hope you and I hope you all have a nice time with oh, this shit. race. Also, since Trav, Trav just joined, my Hi. offer for a Spanish lesson is still open. Angry smiley, evil smiley face. Yo soy that? no. Who said that? Dragon X Zero. Ah, oh, shit. The record on yours? Um, Mierda. I, I gave up on learning Spanish because I could not commit to learning every day. Learning a new I language just, is uh, hard. Like the learning an entirely new language, especially as you get older, is a really big commitment. It's one of those yeah. things my brain was never wired for it, so I would always I was always terrible at languages. I um I failed like three semesters of Spanish in high school. I only needed to do four semesters of a different language to pass, and I ended up doing a different language every semester of high school except for one because I just kept flunking it. Uh, and unfortunately, I think I'm, I'm pretty much stuck with just Spanish as a secondary language in quotes, and even then, that's only... I can understand the basic gist of what someone's saying. I, I cannot I cannot speak in Spanish, though. I cannot speak coherent Spanish. Yeah, you can pick out individual words. Yeah, yeah. and I can get I, a general idea of what they're saying, but I cannot say full sentences in Spanish. I, could, I always feel uh, guilty about it, because I grew up around a Spanish-speaking family. Yeah. And I, 
I can't speak it for the life of me. Uh, what it's, were you going to say, Ryan? It's one of those things where it's like if you, like if for whatever reason I was in like Mexico City or something, I could get by if I absolutely had to, but don't ask me to like, you know, hold a conversation or something. Yeah. I don't know if it's still like it is in the UK when I was in school, but you had the choice between Spanish and French. For me, it was uh, French and German. Ah, uh, okay. Because I know uh, further yeah. apart, neck of the woods, it was French and Spanish. You had to take a special cast. If you in fact, actually, German. saying that we didn't, it was it, it. actually we didn't get a choice. It was in at GCSE anyway, which is just before college age for Americans. That's like up until you're six. Is GCSE up until you're sixteen, honey? Um, let yeah. me think. GCSEs yeah. you start at age eleven. -ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen. So for that, you didn't really get a choice. It was just whatever you were lumped into, and I was always lumped into French, so I hated French as a result. Uh, for uh, for me in Canada, uh, from grade four to eight in elementary school, and then the first year of high school, we had a required French course. So I was gonna say French was yeah. probably like the natural one that you guys would get. Yeah, because it's obviously like Quebec and stuff. Like Quebec's like half like uh, French itself, so there's like a big thing that oh, we, we need to learn a lot of French. But then pretty much after grade nine, uh, first year of high school, like French was uh, optional, so I didn't take any French at all. So all <laughs> French that I knew has completely left my brain. Like I can only know like the I remember the bare like the bare essentials, like, but it's like yeah, I can barely do anything. Nintendo can Wii. You, uh, <laughs> omelet du fromage. Omelet yeah. du fromage. That's about it. Can you um, insult me in French? Oh, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can you insult him in French? Do, do, do right now. As a gift. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay, I see. He called you a wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> uh, we have $10 from Mick Yeager. Lieutenant Yeager of the Nairman Patron Cheerleader Brigade reporting in. May your slides be speedy, your jet skis turny, and your motorcycles merciful. Get his ass! <laughs> <laughs> well, the jet skis. Hey, you, up you, to me. You, did you just say let the jet skis be turny in insane? <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> I have to agree. Yes. I think bathtubs have more maneuverability. <laughs> With oars. It's a bold claim. Uh, well, oh, this is so annoying. I'm like, I'm, I'm taking all of the the shortcuts that I know in in the back of my head from Platinum Relic runs, but it's because I don't, I don't have the crash dash. I'm not making half of them, and it's really throwing me off. A personal challenge I like to do for this is to see how many gold relics I can get before getting the Crush Dash boots. Oh, um, that's a good challenge. Tomb Time's one of the hardest ones to get it on. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Especially towards that end, you need to be cycle perfect. Yeah. If you want to line it up properly. It's not as bad as Platinum Bloody Crash 1. I'm looking at you, freaking generator room, the lab. Ugh. Crash 1 is not fun to get Platinums. No, it's not. I, um... Crash 1 is the only game in the trilogy that I've beaten, um, and... Well, at all. Uh, yeah, I, I had a stupid brain and was like, I don't want to move on to 2 until I 100% this. Um, and that was, a, I, that was I, a foolish move. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave up on that pretty quick and I just haven't started 2 yet. I think you'll really like 2. Yeah, if I, you, I'm if you, sure if you, if you coped with 1 enough to, to like, get 100%, then yeah, you'll really like 2. Because 2 is like, everything about it is better, but it's a lot more forgiving, so... Yeah. That's what I've heard. Um, I, uh... 1 was the only game that I had growing up, and so when I got the trilogy, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, and then... Uh, put it down. <laughs> I still haven't played Crash 4, but I mean, I haven't played the rest of them, so... Uh, well, if you want to go through the whole, um, I'm not going to play another Crash game until I 100% this, I think you should do Crash 4 next. <laughs> okay. So I did notice we have, a, we have a bit of a discrepancy here that I wonder, like, how much will that factor into the race? Because uh, Caddy is playing the PC version of With Insane SSD, Trilogy. Yeah. I'm just, Ryan I'm just, you know, on the Switch. I'm just going to say this right now to, to, save, to save myself. I brought this up and Ryan said it didn't matter. So okay. if, it, if it's anything goes totally wrong, fine. it's Ryan's fault. It's totally fine. <laughs> we're, we're all good. I mean, you, you, got, you guys are pretty neck and neck now, so... Yeah, yeah. like, that's that's kind of the, the weird thing about it, is, like, you guys are still pretty fucking close together. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we have $5. So is this is this Lizy Kill? I don't know if that's an I or that L, but uh, uh, Lizy Kill, cool. Yeah, screw uh, it. I think dial. Donated for oh, a great cause, a great race, and feeding my Pokemon TCM action. 
good luck on the raffle and the rest of the charity. Thank you very much. Oh, and also, I want to make an apology. Uh, I forgot to uh, unlock the uh, the Pokemon uh, uh, card raffle, but now you can do it. So okay, I had yeah. made a mistake and I realized, oh fuck, and I just unlocked it now. So now you can put your money into uh, the Pokemon raffle. So apologies on that. I thought I did that, but I guess it didn't load correctly. I almost screwed up at the very end of Dingo Dial. Oh god, you see, I just finished him. I did too. Oh, twenty dollars from twenty dollars from Sondux. Uh, hey, again, glad to tune to at least the stream since I'm working again this weekend. Hospitality work is a bitch. Either way, I got my pay to put more towards the charity, so at least there's that. Hope we reach fifteen k. Also, Caddy, really happy to see you reach nearly reach eight million subs. Yeah, That's a lot of sandwiches. Rub, rub it in, rub it in. <laughs> nearly, it's always nearly, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, did you hit a million? Congrats. No, 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 not yet, no. Fuck! I take it back, then. <laughs> you gotta earn this, congrats. <laughs> whenever whenever you do hit a million, I kind of want you to just post a picture of yourself doing, like, the Dr. Evil pinky thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> one, <laughs> one million subscribers. Yeah, then YouTube announces a, 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 a bot purge. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck, you're back to 900,999 again. Yeah, I mean, last time this happened, I, I think I reached like 700, and then I went immediately back to like 650. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Which was uh, very demoralizing. We have $10 from Pollock the Irish. Uh, time for the first quite interesting fact. Postman Pat's full <laughs> name is Patrick Clifton. Is his nose still on his junk caddy? <laughs> his nose is his junk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ten dollars uh, from Ian Uh What's a fan game you didn't like? In the spirit of the question, are you trying to get me to talk Sonic Omens, Ian? <laughs> uh, right, I want to. I want to actually. I want to bring this up right now because I, I I have been getting nonstop asked about this question since it came out. Yes, there is a video incoming uh, concerning the game. No, it's not ready yet, but I will be making a video about it. But you guys are gonna have to wait a bit on that one. Uh, but to go back to the question itself, uh, what's a fan game you didn't like? In the spirit of the question, can Trav, as Plankton, say, you lied to me, betrayed me, you used me, you fucked up my face, and now you have my permission to die? Oh my god! That is a, uh, a reference to a terrible Half-Life fan game. Okay. I'm not sure if you want to do that first when we talk about the fan game question. Um, no, I need way? to warm up. Okay, okay, then let's do the fan game question. Bro. What's a fan game you didn't like? Uh, I have to think about this because yeah, I, don't, I don't play many fan games. My I, mean, I, play, I, play, I mean, I play. <laughs> I, I do play a lot of like Sonic hacks like every year, and you know you can just pull from those. But uh, the, the entries that I end up not liking are clearly not finished, uh, and it's it's really where where like a, a conceptually I just don't fuck with a, a product, so I don't really think that would count. Wasn't there one we did to Sage Rush Jam? It was just like Tails. Oh, right, the, like the the creepy pasta. Yeah, like the limitless uh, tales adventure sort of thing. You know that that was that was interesting though. I didn't hate that. Um, I'm not sure if this counts because it got like officially endorsed and marketed like an official game. Um, I did not love Mega Man Cross Street Fighter. I would say that counts because that is a fan game. Just because it's officially endorsed does not mean it wasn't still yeah. fan made. Does that mean Sonic Mania is fan made? Uh, yeah, technically. Well, was Sonic Mania, like, commissioned by Sega? Yeah, it, or it, was it, it, was, like... it wasn't a fan thing. It was Sega paid them to do it, so I don't think right. that counts. Uh, for all intents and purposes, though, I, I still count it in my eyes. I, I think that it's definitely, like, in that halfway gray area. Yeah. <laughs> the Big Paper Mario Sega Star has a fan in it. <laughs> does that count? No, I don't God. think it does. Sorry. Hi, Greg. Just finally got through Dino Might. <laughs> Died a few times. I didn't want to. Uh, Trav, whenever you want to get to the impressions, let me know. Yeah. I'm going to move on with the nations. Um, here, do one more. I'm going to get a drink of water. Sure. All right. Uh, these nations are starting to scroll. You guys are really being generous today. Uh, let me see. What did, 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 where did I leave off? Uh, okay. 40, magic. $40 from Sean Milady. Hey, guys. Uh, the combination of YouTubers on this stream is a melting pot in half. Question for Caddy, John. Uh, question for Caddy, John, and Trav. 
Oh. How about a video about video game movies? Nothing crazy. It could be interesting. Best luck uh, the, to the rest of the campaign. Y'all rock. Uh, a video about video game movies. I mean, are we talking about your standard, like, herder video game adaptation suck sort of thing? Because yeah, uh, that's the thing. I th if I, the, the, the very minute you said that, I just thought overdone, boring, and I just... Yeah, and, like, I would have to, like... I wouldn't be against it because I, I ended up really liking, like, the setup for, like, the Sonic movie reviews that I've done. Like after witnessing the movie, I like to do that for other video game adaptations because uh, I, I think it'd be worth making a video on the nuance of those movies. But like a, a giant video about them, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd enjoy doing. I'd rather separate them. I don't know how I would handle that in my style. Um, the only thing I could think of that's like relevant to the games I cover would be like the Doom movies. Yeah, um, it's really easy to oh cat. Like it's really easy to fall into like a nostalgia critic sort of. Wait, did you hear my cat? Set up, yeah. We yeah. hear your cat. Oh god, uh, she this? just took a shit, so she's got zoomies. No, that's why. <laughs> yeah, kitty, that's my pet. <laughs> oh, dang it! I'm not against the idea, but it's very easy to fall into like the channel awesome trap. Yeah. Where, and what, like, I mean, the thing is, like, I'm with all my videos now, like the the games or whatever the topic is, that's that's just a bonus. Like, that's just what the videos are centered around. I'm just trying to make as many jokes as I can. And yeah. there's only so many times I can put on like one of Uwe Boll's movies and be like, ha ha, yeah. they said that line, stupid. Ha ha, that didn't happen in the game. Ha ha, they got that place name wrong. Like, how many more times can I say that? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'll be happy to make money. Like, I'll be more than happy to make money to tell you guys the point and laugh. <laughs> like, you know, that's that's an easy check. But, uh, like, conceptually, it, it's it's very tiresome, and you'd have to think like, how can you put your own personal spin on it while yeah. offering something new to the table? Which, more often than not, you're not doing because those kind of videos are done to death. Which is why I prefer looking at things like gaming in the Clinton years because that's something that no one's talking about. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, Trav, are you ready to go? Or do you want me to keep yes. on? <laughs> you lied to me! Bitch, nope, I can't. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> right, take two. <laughs> Plank that impression, take two. Yeah, he got the Krabby Patty secret. Fuck your mom! Ugh! <laughs> 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 uh. You lied to me! Betrayed me! You used me! You fucked up my face! And now, you have my permission to die. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to play Dark Knight Rises or some other shit. <laughs> I probably would have if I yeah. had. Oh, my throat. Uh, let me see, we got $5 from Blah6. Uh, howdy folks, we're, while we're on Crash, uh, I'm very fond of Coco's Crash of the Titans design. Uh, not to be confused with the edgy mechanic look of Mind Over Mutant. Anyway, favorite costume or designs of Crash and Coco? Mine, uh, mine for Crash is probably the jacket and warped. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. F retail. All right, so yeah, Bloss really likes the jacket in warp. I have to agree. That's that, that's a pretty it's a pretty classic design. It was like my go to costume in no. Crash Four oh. when I unlocked that. I think I lost one of the mo. I've, I'm screwed. I lost one of the motorbike races. That's it. I'm done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you've four won. Can be you've won. All of the ends. Stick a fork at me, and I'm done, baby. I mean, Ryan can very much screw up himself. Like he's uh, still in the middle of the race himself. Uh, favorite. I mean, we'd have to pull just from Crash Four because Crash Four has all the damn costumes. Uh, I, I always played classic big, Polygon Crash. Big uh, yeah, same. Big energy just for the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I think honestly Crash 2 Crash 3 is peak crash honestly. I'd have to agree. It's it's uh, it's the right, it's the right level of like he's charming and adorable because of the low polys but also disgusting and weird and gross. Yeah. With, with his expressions and everything and I, 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 yeah, I think the the limitations add to his character I think whereas the more detailed he gets the less charming he becomes, I, I guess. I don't know. It's hard yeah, to explain. I, I did not mind the Crash Twin Sanity design either. I thought his teeth were too fucking big, though. Uh, uh, in yeah, that Twin model. Sanity is all right. Twin Sanity, I thought, was a really good PS2 model for Crash. Thing is, I, would, I think Twin Sanity would be funnier if it was the original low poly Crash. That, I, that, would be, that would just be funnier. Yeah. Just based on how the low poly one looks. I really have no opinion on, like, uh, 
bad years crash with the tattoos and all sort of things. I'd never really played those games. Uh, I've seen the cutscenes a bunch of times, though. And uh, uh, my favorite Coco design is honestly uh, Insane Trilogy Coco. Yeah, and, uh, and, um, and Crash Four, Crash Four. Uh, yeah, actually, I was gonna say Crash Four. I changed Crash my mind. Crash Four Coco yeah. was also really good. I really liked the uh, one of the casual outfits you could unlock early. I think it was like DLC. It was like like the the beanie hat and uh, the over the overalls. One of those two. So I was just zoned out because of the soul of Plankton leaving my body. Sure. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, favorite Crash Bandicoot design in Coco. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you had anything to contribute to that. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I appreciate. I appreciate I the say, direct blunt response. What do you got, experiment? I would say in terms, I would agree. Two or three are the classic ones. The worst, I would say, is actually a wrap of Cortex. Yeah. So we're oh, has the worst. Shout, Cortex yeah. has the worst of everything. No, 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 no. Worst one's Crash Bash. You think? Um, okay. Oh yeah, because Crash Bash was already kind of just like. A, Low effort to make like, like a cheap knockoff of the the crash one and two, the crash two and three model. I would I, mean, I would agree. They, 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 they could have just used that model. I don't know why they didn't. That's that's the confusing crash, thing. I'd crash. argue, given that Wrath of Cortex was the first Crash Bandicoot for a new generation, that it, it had no excuse to look as bad as it. I know it kind of looked like I was, I was uh, fucking advertising Coke there for a second or Pepsi, but. Uh, crash had Crash and the, uh, the rest of the crew had no reason to look as bad as they did for that. For that first iteration of their new game, they, everybody looks, looks so awful in that game. I'm trying to think, Crash Bash. Oh, that's one of the games that had the um, additional security. It was the party. Security. Yeah, it was the party game. Yeah, yeah that's that... what was it? It had like a fully playable. Oh no, Crash Bash was fully playable in a different game. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh yeah, because it, it was a demo <laughs> thing, it was wasn't a, it? It was a Spyro they demo, I think. Oh yeah. man, Spyro Three. Yeah. Funny. In Spyro Three, there was like a fully playable Crash copy Bash. of. Crash Bash. Because <laughs> Crash Bash data wise only takes about maybe 90 meg. It also, it was a very small game. Yeah, yeah so, because that's just you know, I believe that. rather, yeah. than, rather than trying to develop and cut out like parts of it for a demo, they just put the game in there and tried to hide it, I guess. Yeah, basically. The so, interesting thing is, is I think Spyro 3, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bash all had additional security on them to try and stop piracy in PAL regions exclusively. That it was worked. called um, LibCrypt, so it was like additional data sectors or something we used to... That sounds like something like LibCrypt! Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like something you right wingers would say. It's like, I'm sending you to the LibCrypt. The other one I could think off the top of my head that had that protection I'm was, so tired um, of these LibCrypt! Okay, nope, I'm not doing that. It was called Theme Park World. That theme Park stop. World. That so tends exciting. To stop a lot of, I think it still affects like some emulators as well because they don't have the patches for it. Is it right next <clears> to Happy <throat> World Land? <laughs> when are we going to get to the ride? This <laughs> is the ride. The ride. Yippee! Yay. Uh, Stefani, wants to go with the mission for a bit? All right, let me get that. Uh, five dollars from Flipnote Three D Gamer. Uh, hey, sup. Flipnote. Thought I'd drop another one while I still can. Gonna be starting IT learning program in two weeks, so my free time will likely be cut in half. Wanted to say thanks for all you guys do. My question is, if you were to pick uh, your favorite console, what would it be? By the way, learned English, Spanish, Spanish, and Mandarin. All right, motherfucker. Oh, man. I read Mandarin as Mandalorian for a second. And I was like, fuck me. I'm a nerd, man. This is the like, way. Uh, favorite consoles are Super Nintendo and PS2. Uh, PS2 and God, I gotta think about that because like for years it was Super Nintendo as well. I'd have to agree, but I also got a lot of PlayStation One memories. I uh, like the 3DO. <laughs> uh, I had a friend who grew up with the 3DO. Those poor bastards. Okay, I don't know how how you're doing wrong. I'm doing dreadfully. Uh, I am. I'm on double header, but I did I did uh, the level you're on now previously. So oh my god! I, I just keep dying. I just keep dying. We're functionally at the same place. <laughs> I tell you, what, it's because the last time I played any of these games was when I did my platinum relic video. So that was over a year ago anyway, and I vowed to myself never to play these games ever again, and here I am. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> so charity, so it's okay. okay. It's I fine. Made uh, I made a vow to play 06 again, except for charity, but I keep getting tied up in 06 things for charity. <laughs> yeah. So said, how it goes. Sure the, uh, said except, yeah, you said except for charity. Except so. for charity, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, okay. yeah, it's like I do this game every year now. So 06, like, like, fan project probably doesn't help. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, but that's but that's actually something taking something good for you know 06, you know. 
It does look pretty cool. I haven't tried it myself. It's been though. really impressive so far from what I've experienced. I can't wait for the full release. So last week I should have done that was two years ago, was it? Oh man. No, I don't count the last two years. The last two years, the last two, three years have been an absolute blur. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's a thumbs down. Uh, we have $5 from Virtua Kazuma. Hey everyone, today marks the 35th anniversary of Street Fighter, and I have a question for everyone here, as well as chat. What was the first Street Fighter game you played? For me, it was Street Fighter Alpha for the Saturn. I would say Street Fighter 2, but I was too young to play it at the time. It was Street Fighter 2. Uh, oh. Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo. I think, four. I think 4 for me. I guess and, uh, it could go on to that question if anyone plays it even remotely, uh, like not just like press buttons. Like, who do you actually play in Street Fighter? I'm a Ken you know, Masters you know, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think I gave no. I four was my second one. My first one was Street Fighter X Tekken. If you want to count that as a Street Fighter oh, game, I mean, it counts. I mean, it plays it like it's more. Fighter. It's more. Yeah, it's more of a Street Fighter game than it is Tekken. So yeah, it's not a Tekken game at all. So, no, but yeah, well, like, I, the, the idea was there was going to be Street Fighter cross Tekken, which played like Street Fighter, and then there was going to be a Tekken cross Street Fighter, which played like Tekken. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, but, the, but, the got, but the latter got the latter got cancelled. Yeah, yeah, never came to fruition. Nope. Oh well, uh, the phone says Street Fighter 2010. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it, I would say it counts because it has Street Fighter in the name. Yeah, I've, 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 I was a Tekken baby, so um, I'm I, I, I kept hearing about Street Fighter 2 and everything, and I was like, okay, well, how about I try the newest one because the older ones are going to be old. And um, yeah, so I just gave that one a go. I was like, I'm not really digging this. So I tried 4, and I was like, you know what? Still not really digging it. So I think I, I just prefer how Tekken handles. I think that's it's just a preference thing. That's totally fair. I mean, I, I was more Tekken as well. Um, I'm very big into Guilty Gear now. Uh, I was equal parts uh, growing up. It was equal parts Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. I'm really looking forward to making that video because that's going to be a multi-part uh, video of my Mortal Kombat retrospective because I want to divide it into the 2D games and the 3D games because there's a lot to pull from Mortal Kombat. I just could never get in the way Mortal Kombat controls. Oh, that's fair. Like it's it's deceptively simple, but also I'm trying to find a way. Any uh, fighting to put game it. that any game that has a dedicated block button just feels weird to me. Yeah. You think? Oh, like Soul Calibur. Was At least that has a little bit of an excuse of being a like a completely 3D game. Right. Um, oh, right, yeah, it was Street Fighter 2 on the Amiga. That was our first one. Ooh. How you like the fighting game when you have to swap between four floppy disks? And you usually have to swap between two every match. Is that how you do the special moves? <laughs> uh, good luck trying to do them when you're stuck with an Atari-style joystick. I can do it. Can you, though? Can you, though, Joe? Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter are not overrated. Can't hate a game because people like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the entirety of my personality. It's, like it's, it's time to develop a new personality, Harvey. Uh, we have $5 from Carbuncle. No comment. Uh, $20 from Digimanda. Hey, everyone. Good luck, and I hope you're all doing well. Question for the commentators in chat. Favorite game that's come out this year so far? Uh, Shredder's Revenge. Maybe Kirby. I think maybe. I think. I think Kirby. Oh, yeah, I forgot Land. Was that this year? I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. lose exactly. time. I, yeah, it was my this sense year. of time is fucked. Yeah, um, yeah no, I forgot Land for me. Games. Oh. Uh, off the top of my head, Shredder's Revenge. Um, don't know what else has come out this year. Seeing a lot of uh, I mean, Live a Live or Live Alive, live, whatever. Live Alive, yeah. Live Alive, thank you. I know uh, Elder came out this year, but that's just not my. I'm not counting remakes just because it's like. They're technically old games. I mean, they're. It's great that they're here, but I'm not counting remakes and stuff like that. Uh, I would. I would say it technically counts as a new game released in this year. Sure. I think it's also uh, a case by case basis. For sure. Me. Shit, that's of, right. Didn't Elden Ring? Yeah, Zeno Shit, oh, didn't, yeah. Didn't Elden Elden Ring come out this year? <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring was this year. That was oh, early no. this year. Yeah, yeah. I it was like um, end of 2021. Shit. I just beat my first Souls game, so I'll play Elden Ring eventually. You know, See, I'm, I'm gonna... I, I like Elden Ring a lot, a lot, a lot, but it's 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 not Dark Souls or Bloodborne for me, so it's it's I'm fine. Gonna... It's just it's not in my top three. What is it? Uh... I mean, maybe it's in my top three, but it's not my top two. What does it not do uh, for you? Uh, the I think the the openness of it is a is a is the best thing about it and the worst thing about it because. Mm -hmm. 
half of the bosses I'm running into based on where I'm exploring first go down in like three hits and then some of them are like impossible but it just like but there's no way of knowing where the easier challenges are and where the harder ones are you just kind of got to play and see what happens and then it sucks to get to a boss which looks great and has cool moves and and it's got great music and then it's over in like five seconds because you're so overpowered but you didn't know you were going to be overpowered for that area you know so yeah i get you at least with at least with souls games there's it's the, the difficulty curve is more consistent i suppose you see you can't just like go up to somewhere and be like oh hey this boss looks cool hi how are you well, yeah, but it's, like... it's, cool, it's cool though because when you then get to a part where you're like way too underpowered you feel like a god when you do it but that doesn't for me that hasn't happened too often but again it's also the best thing about it because it is purely just hey here's a world good luck and then that's it and i, I really 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 love that uh i'm gonna i'm gonna uh somewhat agree with uh, Mr. Mad's comedy on Twitch was uh, Master Duel, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Like, assuming you're playing with friends, obviously, but uh, it, it's been, like, the best digital version of Yu-Gi-Oh! I've experienced, like, ever. Like, outside of, like, the GBA game. I, I, granted, I haven't played many of those games, uh, but I've been really enjoying my time with Master Duel. It gives me uh, some good laughs and some good nostalgia for it, too. It's been really entertaining watching people play it. <laughs> for better or worse, anyway. I don't um, know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> we have uh, $10 from Izzy Kielkun, and they say, with an I, not L. Donating okay, cool. again, and harder this time. Crash Bandicoot 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, and seeing some of my favorite content creators collab for an amazing cause is always great. Thanks for getting me through high school and college, you lot, and I appreciate you all do. Plus, Pokemon trading card game, heart. Now, hopefully, that money can actually go towards the TCG uh, thing yeah. that uh, Stefan, I think, is probably donating again. But, we, you know, yeah. the, the charity's benefit from it. So, thank you very much. Uh, then we got uh, $20 from Blue Dino. Good day, gentlemen and Kid Icarus. <laughs> what? He's not a gentleman? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not, I don't fall under that category, no. Since, since Trav is still doing his glorious Plankton impression, can he do the, sec can he do the second half of the Flowey speech from Kirby? Uh, I uh, wait, oh oh well from Kirby oh from the Kirby race that's what you mean. I have an oh, image link here. Say, and, uh, from Kirby. Yeah, I was like wait, I was like oh from the Kirby race. <laughs> so like, there. Yeah, so I posted it in the voice chat whenever you want to do it. Uh, let me just get through these quickly first. Uh, Five dollars from Oni Fox. This will be my last donation for this charity, unless I'm a hypocrite later. But talking about learning languages made me want to challenge you guys with another Swedish word. Uh, I, I was the uh, Eagle Coot guy, by the Eagle way. Coot, Eagle Coot. Eagle Coot. From uh, last year's extra live stream. Oh. <laughs> I want you guys to try and say this word. I will write in chat to get close. And I, I'm gonna. I think it's. Uh, uh, I, wish I, read it. I wish I could read it. Uh, here, I'm, I'm just gonna post it in the, our chat as well. How many umlauts? Oh, you can see uh, right. oh boy. there's two. That, that's that's oh what I think boy. it is. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get an idea how this word is pronounced. Nope. Uh, uh, fuck, I'm just going to pronounce it phonetically. Uh, Valgoran Het. <laughs> I cast a spell on you. You're mine now. <laughs> I'm going to take a shot on the dark here. And I am going to guess, based on Ernie's patterns from last year, that is the Swedish word for charity. Uh, to oh, so Google you're, Translate. You're being, about it. you're being sensible about it. That's not how it goes. It's Valjohan here? Is that how? That's what Google says. Yeah, it is the Swedish word for charity. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, a it's really, really like, aggressive, funny word, like yeah. a lot of German words are. <laughs> it's Swedish for get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, like that, that sounded drunk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking people. Who gave, who gave Google the drink? <laughs> <laughs> Valgor and Het, Jalapeno Poppers. <laughs> and, and lastly, uh, $10 from Pork the Irish. And here's a charity-related quite interesting fact. In 2018, a charity snail race was cancelled after cold weather caused all of the competitors to go into hibernation. Good thing it's the summer and you guys aren't snails. Right? Trav comes off a bit slimy to me. Hey! <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want to feel like a snail, come to the UK this summer, Christ almighty. God, how are you coping in this friggin' heat? Um, do you know what? We're, we're some of the luckiest people probably right now because a week before the first heat wave, 
we got AC installed in my office in the living room. So you we we're that. doing we're doing okay. So people are people are sending their like best wishes on Twitter, and I'm like, look, there's other people that need best wishes. I, I appreciate it, but we're okay. We're really fine. Uh, a, I, I feel like a stupid American, which I am. Um, I, I told a lot that uh, air conditioning isn't common in the UK. It's not. It's it's not not common. It's not. It oh. doesn't exist basically in the UK and the chunks of the The main is, it's just UK buildings are designed to retain heat, not lose it. Right. Like, because we're a maritime climate, so like our summers, at least from what I remember from being younger, they never usually get much hotter than 24, 25 C. Um, I yeah, don't know what that is in average. F. Uh, that's roughly about 70 odd in Fahrenheit. Yeah. So that's what our summers are used to, and yeah. now like we're dealing with like 33, 34, oh, like like 10 degrees hotter, never. and no buildings aside from a couple of restaurants and supermarkets have AC, and it's I've never miserable. experienced a summer where the highest day was fucking 70, like degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's like, the thing. Holy, but, yeah. but that's the thing. It was never. It was never like the hottest thing. It was just like, oh yeah, that's a UK summer. It's rainy. Yeah. It's cloudy. But now it's like, oh, everyone's dead now. There's no green grass anymore. It's all sand. Like, <laughs> that's that's why I have the joke of if there's a bit of snow, the UK declares a national emergency. If there's snow <laughs> yeah. for more than a single day, we declare a new national holiday. Oh, yeah, so that's the, the that's the Texas. thing. Yeah. Uh, for us, us snow and uh, snow in the UK is like uh, the East Coast having hurricanes. I the West usually, to, uh, the West usually post the North. They just post the launcher on the floor. Texas. Well, I don't. Just, oh no, there's a single <laughs> spec. Uh, that's it. We're doomed. We're fucked. That's it. Cancel everything. Yes, including the potluck. The good thing, though, is that um, our buildings are built to keep heat in, which is very true, um, to get us through the biting winter, which I think a lot of people are hoping for at this point. They're hoping that it's winter, like, in September. But, yeah. like... Um, the good thing though is that it, we're, we're very good at keeping heat in, but equally, if you get cold air in, it doesn't go anywhere. That's equally the good thing about it. So, in the same way that hot air stays in, so does cold. But you just need to find the cold air to begin with. That's the problem. Now, I've heard of this mythical land called Scotland that might have some we can borrow. That's a very good point. Why don't we ever get any of that northerly Scottish wind? We always seem to get it from like France, and it's always boiling hot. Well, we get all some um, Ireland. The image of you guys like tasting the air is like Scottish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, for us, it'd be just like if I go to the west side of that, it's like, hmm, Irish. If I go to the right, I go, ugh, English. Hmm, Welsh. No. Where are you? Where are you based anyway? Isle of Man. Oh wow, in the middle of nowhere. Yep. <laughs> the middle of oh, fuck nowhere. How are you? Wait, wait, wait. How are you? How are you on Discord chatting? You have internet there? Uh, I'm using seagulls. They're called Jonathan. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I thought you meant like actual seagulls, <laughs> like they're like carrying an Ethernet cord all the way from the mainland that brings your ass here. Wait, that's not what he meant. No, I, apparently no, not. Just, no, it's just been a joke between some of our friends. Is that there's always a seagull somewhere, and we just always called him Jonathan. <laughs> but no one likes that Jonathan. Uh, we have twenty dollars from the controversial. Even holy crash, it's the dude. I replay the band video. I, repl I replay the band games video whenever I want to go. What the fuck? Hopefully we get another. Or we hopefully we get another one or something. I don't know. Do whatever you want. I just hope Activision didn't put Crash down, even if he was healthy. The more I look back, Crash Four does reek of we gave you one. Now shut the fuck up and play Call of Duty. Uh, sort of energy. Yeah. Uh, but so Wumpa League. I'm hoping that's not the case. I would love for them to continue because Crash 4, like fully completing the game aside, is still a phenomenal Crash Bandicoot game. I absolutely enjoyed my time with it from beginning to end, and for them, to, for that to just be a one-off, potentially depresses the hell out of me. That is a one-off as well as no, Spyro, yeah. no Spyro 4. Yeah, I would, I would really argue well. it's a phenomenal um, 3D linear corridor platformer, but I would argue it's not the best Crash Bandicoot game. Okay. Uh, one of the best thing. One of the things about Crash to me is the completion. That's like that's just that's bread and butter for Crash, and it and I think that does what does it one of the worst ways. So. Uh, no doubt about that. I think fundamentally though, it's it's about the Crash Bandicoot as it can get. Because like yeah. only completing Crash Bandicoot games is not how I, how I identify the games, but I I will concede that yeah, it should not be as fucking strenuous as Crash Four made it to be. Crash Four just no, like finishing no. Skyrim length. No. Yeah. They, they, I'm they gonna do it. Wait, what, what, what do you gotta do? What? Uh, 
Oh, oh, okay. Oh, was a trial. I was like, I thought you can't write a threat in somebody. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I mean, say I it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I I played Crash Four like Reese like I think like late last year for the first time, and I like I went in pretty fresh. So it was like there were some parts like when I found out you could play as Dingo Dial, I was like, holy fuck, this is the best game ever. But then <laughs> like when it got to the part like, when after you fought uh, 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 Embryo and they do the whole thing where like they go backwards and like oh all the like the reverse levels, and I went, oh no. <laughs> and you I feel went, that? that it's like my, my monkey. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you just got squished. Uh, no, you, you didn't. You didn't. You, you didn't sing praise for uh, Activision. Yeah, I don't know what happened to me in game there. I will buy like the loot got, box. I think I, I hit I, the I'm ceiling going to and it knocked me down into the water. I'm going. No, it looked like you got crushed by a door. It looks like the door's hitbox glitched yeah. there and you got crushed. Oh, are you in Tomb Raider? Yeah. 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 Oh God, I'm in the lead. Thank God for that. <laughs> I came yeah, into this. Like, I came into the stream with one message floating at the front of my head, and that was, "I am going to beat diabetes and beat Ryan." <laughs> Which and one I'm going to enjoy <laughs> more? <laughs> leads up to you. But now I'm Five. doing both. Yeah. No, I still uh, come on, do you uh, do you want to reiterate what we're raising money for? We are raising money for the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation, uh, a great organization that uh, puts in a lot of great work in order to uh, help uh, look for a cure for diabetes and uh, for helping uh, anybody who uh, suffer from various things. Like us people, a lot of people in the chat all uh, either know somebody or themselves personally have dealt with uh, diabetes in some way. So it is like a very universal uh like issue, so that so we, we, we've uh, worked with them. Uh, I think it was, I think it's like, I think this is the third year we've worked uh, with them. So it's like, it's just been a great thing that we've done. Uh, currently, we're we're at we've raised uh, eleven thousand seven hundred and sixteen dollars and ninety cents. Hey. Um, so over the course of a little, uh, well, this is the this is day five technically. So yeah, that is uh, ex that is very excellent. We have until we have until uh, the end of Sunday to unlock to get fifteen thousand, which will unlock our second incentive day on Monday. You of course have the bid wars, like the Scott Pilgrim versus TMNT bid war, which closes at the end of this stream. TMNT is still winning. Uh, other bid wars, like uh, the Marvel versus Capcom and Pac-Man versus Tetris ninety nine. You have raffles such as the Pokemon uh, trading card collection and the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, event raffle. And uh, much more, and whether it's like you want, oh, want us to answer questions or read out, read out the dictionary or something. <laughs> Don't ask us to read the dictionary or something. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, do it for five thousand. Five thousand dollars. Uh, was it uh, uh, Eclipsis? Uh, because uh, they donated a thousand dollars during one of my runs. Now for the rest of my games, I have to play with a blindfold on. <laughs> But how do we know you have the blindfold on? Uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I don't think I can do it for the uh, the beat 'em up game, but I am gonna do it for my other game. I'm gonna have my uh, my my camera on for the other games. Let's go. Like, I feel like I I have to. They I mean they they are the highest uh, donator right now, so it's like I, I got to give them that. Eh. Uh, five dollars from Emil Dubas. Hey oh, looking forward to your deadlocked vid, John. A question for Caddy. For your Spyro video, out of the games you never played, which one interests you the most? I've been waiting for your Spyro video since 2013, so I expect the wait to be worth worth it. Thank you for the joy you've always given me since. Oh god, I, I, I mentioned Mighty Number no. 9 earlier. I think this is going to be my Mighty Number no. 9 moment, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I've, been wait, I've been waiting for like nearly 10 years. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry if it doesn't, if it's not up to your standard. <laughs> I'm really sorry. That's rough. <laughs> uh, ones that I'm, the one that I'm looking forward to, honestly, none of them, because I, I'm fully aware that they are completely different from the originals, and that's not what i i don't look for an epic with spyro like hero's tale is where i tapped out i i enjoyed hero's tale and i just never went back in because none of it looked very appealing to me whatsoever so i'm not massively looking forward to it but i hear all the time legend of spyro is okay legend of spyro is decent so who knows but when i go into spyro it's not for epic like dreamworks dragons i i just want i just want silly platformer with fat bear that steals your money that's all i want nasty nork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no voice acting aside yeah uh oh and uh let's see uh five dollars from tipafin 93 
So tomorrow there's going to be Elliot versus Trav Doom Eternal Race. Just Ooh, curious, was the, was the Doom game added because of my charity room drawing I posted, or was it already decided long before I posted it? Anyway, good luck both of you in the Doom race, Elliot and Trav. And no, the Doom was already chosen before you posted yeah, <laughs> that was just way, a yeah, it. Yeah, way, way before. What's, what's ironic was when you posted that, uh, uh, I think it was somebody thought that you that you drew that drawing because somebody revealed that we were playing Doom Eternal. It's like, uh, who said we were, like, who leaked out the schedule? Like, and fucking and, doxed us. Yeah, they're like, no, they just did that. <laughs> it was just pure happenstance. Uh, uh, oh, th uh John, this, this next one has a reading quest, so you can handle that. Okay, sure. Uh, so $5 from that Michael guy. Uh, hi all, having a great time watching the event while working on commission work. Can John recite Chuck's chicanery speech from Better Call Saul and his Luigi book? You guys gotta put, put more than $5 for a request like this. This is a long fucking thing. I'm just gonna, like, I'll do it now, but $5? <laughs> Come on, guys, you gotta give more to charity for that one, because you gotta get it. Give the mouse good. a cookie. Yeah, yeah, uh, hold on, let me refresh this page. Uh, I can, um, uh, I, let me get this one. There we go. I would pay any amount of money to hear John read anything in his um, original Sonic Animation Mario voice. Oh, that! I mean, yeah, if it raises you hear money that for charity, sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, if it raises money for charity, I don't really care. Uh, I can barely click this link, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to copy and paste it. Uh, I, I try to, but it like collapses the window. Like when uh, I try to do that. Where's the? There, I put it in the voice chat. You should okay, see. It I think there. I got it myself too. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Oh All right, um, Damn. I can do this. That's my Luigi voice. All right. All right, so might be a little war, war and peace for a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. One after Magna Carta, as if I would ever make a such a mistake. Never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He covered his tracks. He got that idiot in the copy shop to lie for him. You think this is something? You think this is bad? This this chicanery? He's done worse. That billboard. Are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? No. He orchestrated it. Mario. He defecated through a sunroof. And I saved him. I shouldn't have. I took him into my old firm. What was I thinking? He'll never change. He'll never change ever since he was nine. Always the same. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer. But not our Mario. Could it be precious Mario? Stealing the blind. And he gets to be a plumber. What a sick joke. <laughs> I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And you, 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 you have to stop him. And that's the end of it, yeah. Better Call, Saul is, Better Call Saul is an amazing piece of television. I really recommend everybody watch it. Uh, I'm really sad that it's ending next week. Uh, but uh, and if, you, if you watch Breaking Bad, if you love Breaking Bad, and if not, watch Better Call Saul for any reason, you are doing yourself a major disservice. Yeah, I think the thing is, anything good, it has, to, it has to come to an end at some point. I think a lot of people get too carried away with, oh yeah, it's it's so good, I don't want it to end. Now, nah, sometimes yeah. I want things to end, you yeah, know, yeah. otherwise, otherwise really... it just gets not as good. Or, or, or it becomes The Walking Dead. Yeah, or like The Office, or the which Super is still <laughs> really good up until the end, but like, it's just not, nowhere near as good as the first bits, you know? Uh, can you watch it without Breaking Bad? Yes, you can. You lose a bit of uh, nuance and uh, subtleties, but I, I think it's more than watchable. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I, 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 I'm disappointed in myself that I stopped after, I think, season three. Like, I stopped after season three, and I missed season four. I'm like, I'll catch up. And then season six came along, and I'm like, shit, I forgot to catch That's up. That's exactly <laughs> what happened to us. Exactly. And now the problem is it's been too long, and now it's like, do we want to watch season ones through three again? Like, oh my god, I've done it twice already. Yeah, I ended up just saying screw it and just spoiled myself to see like oh like just seeing what seeing what happened in season six. So I just I just kind of spoiled myself with all like what's been going on, and I'm like, oh man, shit's actually shit's really going down now. Yeah, now that the final episode oh, is I, I think you Monday. Were talking about the office. Yeah, better call Saul <laughs> next shit's Monday. going down now. Better call Saul I was like, wait, I'm gonna God. miss. I'm gonna miss talking about the show. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you and Ben in your Discord server talking about it every week. Yeah, what, what's that like? Because I know like we, we're the only ones that use that channel, so it's, it's, it's like weird that you visit it. Like, there's absolutely no context given to what we're talking about. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean not, that, not that I mind, of course. It's your. This is supposed, this supposed to be what it's like when I follow all my other anime friends. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? I think you made half of those words up. 
You Sorry, uncultured I'm being... swines. Sorry, I know it's being the anime guy. I'm used to people watching other stuff that's not what I'm watching. So right, right, yeah. Because there's like a, there's like a, a billion stuff that you guys like in, in the anime circle like watch, and I do not. And I was like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Oh, that's what's my psycho. I was gonna say anytime a Nora posts about a fate stuff. Oh uh, yeah, it goes right over my head. <laughs> Anything fake, Genshin Impact, uh, Grand Blue, uh, Neko are any finally in the game. <laughs> yeah, so it goes right over my head. Guys, this is getting really tense. I have two lives. Uh, and I'm on, the, I've got three levels, no, two levels to go. And I, and I don't boss. think. I, you're on the final boss? No, I was saying, and the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you give him a pro gamer why movie. Don't you? <laughs> I'm so I like I haven't seen the game over like the, the game over screen in Crash Three since I was seven. So that was this me is going to be. Run, yeah. Oh, this is re getting really, really, really close to home now. I'm not liking this. Okay, uh, let's go. We, uh, we have ten dollars from Dad Michael guy as requested, John. So he gave an extra ten bucks. Extra so. ten bucks. Look at that. What a pro gamer move right there. I appreciate that, Michael. I mean, the charity benefits more than anybody, but. Uh, Good, good on you, good on you. Did you read the $5 donation from Vix? Uh, no, I'm about to do that now. Uh, okay. $5 from Vix. Hello, chaps. Really enjoying the race. I hope you're both having fun. Let's kick diabetes in its naughty bottom. This is appropriation. S. And then this one's also a reading quest for you. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, $20 from, was it Just Tinmon? Is that your yep, That's right. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Maybe someone uh, should play Benny Hill to make Caddy feel a bit more at home. Wait, play it anyway. Uh, request, can we get Benny yep. Hill on standby, Trev? Just for five seconds, otherwise we got to pay them. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. Uh, request, can John, as the most soulful Eggman, the most soulful Eggman, possibly sing this? Oh, I get a little bit of Dangastan. Don't want you to gang with someone. Wait, nobody else makes nobody. I have no idea what the fuck this is. What is? I don't know what these this lyrics. Is. I have. All right, so this is. All right, so this, this is the risk you guys run when it comes to uh, request, request and impression. I don't know exactly what you guys are referencing, so. Uh, Just uh, is, inflect every other word. If this is a song, I have no idea what it. Dangastan? What's Dangastan? I have no idea what that is. I, I need. To, I feel like I need to get some context for this. Does anybody know what this comment is referencing? I get a little bit of Dangastan. Don't want you to Genghis on with nobody else but Mingus. Nobody else but Mingus Kingus Pingus. <laughs> I, I, um, uh, I my favorite Pokemon starters. I get a little bit Dangus Don. Don't want to get. I fucking can't do Wing Man with this. Don't want you to Genghis on with nobody else, but Mingus nobody else with Mingus Kingus Pingus. Yeah, that was terrible. Kingus. Yeah. <laughs> Inga dinga turgan. I'm assuming soulful Eggman Triforce means like uh, Eggman singing like a, a soul song, basically. Did anybody see that viral video from like oh. 15 years ago of. Um, the original Spider-Man 1960s cartoon yeah, opening, but, they, but the, no, no, all they do is they replace every single syllable with um, Eggman saying penis, and it's no. the funniest shit. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen um, it's ping, but it, ping, yeah, it, it's, it's literally, ping, but it's all pitch corrected and everything, and it's so funny. Have and like the first thing I thought when they removed the dislike bar from YouTube, I was like, yes, now this has a 100% like rating. All is right in the world. Have you seen uh, the 60s Spider-Man theme, but they yeah, but it's only man. Man, <laughs> no. man, man, man. Friendly oh, neighborhood, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> In uh, the we have dead a of night, he arrives just in time, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have a nine dollar donation from Damned Girl Seven. Uh, hey guys, I'm loving your crash race. Thanks for being so great and helping diabetes patients. Uh, anime question for Ryan. I, uh, I saw he sold both of them off, but what TG anime is better, uh, Kashimashi or Camper? Is that how you pronounce uh, the name? Comfort, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to even remember what they are. Well, um, which one is? Which one's itchy? <laughs> look, I'm. <laughs> trying to remember I'm trying to remember in play things at the same time. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, it's, some, it's, some it's, it's a hidden talent. Some, yeah, because some, some of these shows skill. are like twenty years old. So. Oh, okay. I never heard of either of these. Yeah, they're old. So. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Probably Comfort. But that's. Uh, second question: What is Cad's favorite American Dad episode? 
American, <laughs> American Dad. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. I prefer the uh, my favorite episode is uh, the history of American Dad speedrunning. <laughs> you know, God, I love that. I couldn't yeah, even, I lo- I lo- couldn't I lo- even I tell Ameri- you. I love American Dad Taz. I think the like, last time I watched that was like ten years ago. Okay. Uh, I know you, that was when, the opening riff of Benny Hill, but it sounded like a balloon deflator. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, exactly. When you when you get to when you get to it, watch uh, American Dad speedrunning. It's a, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really it's good. The thing, it's like he gets out of bed and then that's it. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, not even, yeah, it's not even that. There yeah. are different versions of it oh. where they like. <laughs> so this is the part where I clip through the floor and so, and so it's, yeah, instead of doing like the a, intro bit, he like a, cuts right to the kitchen and stuff. There's a face cam in the corner and it's like it's glitching out and he's trying to do inputs and it has one of those like oh my uh, god time slot things in the corner that I, res- I, res- time. <laughs> I respect the grind for a 10 second joke so caddy's on the last boss yeah i am Where are you what the fuck are we gonna do for the rest of the time slot? <laughs> <laughs> i am almost i am almost done with the future level i did things out of order because you get three Akumas in the last level, so yes, I did that so I can abuse him. Oh, and, and then use yeah, use invincibility. That's a very good idea. Sh- shame it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm on the. I'm about to go into the last full level. So I'm not. I'm not too far behind. Okay, right. I had to get the worst phase of this fight. Yeah, I mean, we had to give us a lot of time because we assume. I mean, Caddy and I assumed that Crash One was going to win because, haha, it's the hardest one. Oh, you know, do you know what? I was I was shocked because you guys were keeping me up to date on what was winning, and then I was like, oh, it's going to be either two because that's the most popular, or th- or one because it's really really difficult and it'll be really fun to rush it and everyone dies and everyone's crying. Yeah, but I'm surprised what three came through, and I'm not complaining. It's my favorite one, but like, it's as far as rushing it goes, I think Crash One or two would have been more interesting to watch. I think. Yeah, because oh, rushing through thanks. Crash Three, yeah, rushing through Crash Three does not take very long at all. Crash Three is a very short game if you just bum rushing it. No, we're gonna yeah. finish in about an hour and a half. It, it, it's all thanks to Eclipse has put their a thousand dollar donation into that. So, well, that'll yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, could, you, you could have just ignored it. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just a thousand dollars. Some dollars less for diabetes charity. Uh, it's all right. What is that in pounds? I don't know. Grams? Yeah. So it's one of those we had to we had to assume <laughs> that Crash. Don't know when I'm stopping the clock, but I'm done. Nice. Good shit. And the winner is Caddy. Yeah. So we had to assume Crash One was going to win in some capacity, which was going to take us two to three hours. Yeah. But since Crash Three is the one that won, it doesn't. We don't really need like half of that time, as we found out today. Yeah, Can and it's also Crash nowhere near as difficult either. It's nowhere near as hard as well. Yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah. after after this, we could always try either Future Tense or uh... Stormy Ascent. Stormy Ascent. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna rub it in, and I'm gonna do some time trials. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you still got that. Uh, still got the spark. Oh, I thought you were gonna say rub I it request, in and I rub one out. Three platinum relics. See if I can. Let's see if my my muscle memory does me good here. Ah, uh, I remember no oh. cheating in hot cocoa. Uh, so, uh, we are about two hundred and twenty-five dollars away from twelve thousand dollars. I would like us to reach that threshold before Crash Bandicoot ends for today. Uh, but you guys have done more than enough already, so uh, by uh, no means feel obligated to do so. But you guys, like, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Thank you very much. No, we got yeah, $20 donations from Field 94. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this. I just wish that I could be more on the ball with commentary and stuff, but it's very difficult to talk <laughs> and rush something at the same time. Yeah, yeah I, I, I preach another choir there. I, I am absolute garbage at playing and talking at the same time. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very, very difficult thing. Just, yeah. <laughs> just playing is one thing, but trying to play while rushing and talk at the same time is like trying to do three things at once. <laughs> So I'm not coherent, but I'm good at talking while playing. You have a better stream of conscious, uh, likely. I, I don't am... know what it is. It's like I, I focus better if I'm just like blabbering on about what I'm doing. Look at that. Was that a uh, platinum first try? Yep. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. It's you the first level, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found the crash fan. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Uh, oh look, we found the one. No, it's not fuck. It's How fuke. did I die there? <laughs> More uh, shit boxes, son. Oh, Von, oh, you mean Von, Vu- Von Fuchs from uh, Doom Patrol? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you say his name again? Let's not. <laughs> 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 I 
because it sounds like Street Fighter too. So, uh, so ten dollars from. Oh, sorry, go on. I was just going to. Sorry, actually, ten dollars from Waves. Uh, uh, hola, uh, glad to finally catch this year's event and seeing everyone is fun, have fun as usual. Uh, family Feud was amazing. I want to ask if anyone saw the new Tekken teaser and if John's looking forward to DKC returns. I recommend Nunchuck play. Uh, of course, thanks for being great, guys. I was gonna family say, oh, I've seen one's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> Nani. I did see the Tekken 8 teaser, and I'm really excited for it. I did not see the Tekken teaser. I'm not, uh, I'm not really a Tekken guy, so that kind of just goes over my head. It, it was basically just a we're making it finally thing. Oh, okay. Now in production. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is big news because Tekken 7's been their main fighting game since like 2013, 2014, so it's been a while. That does remind me, though, John. Uh, there is a patch for Donkey Kong Country Returns if you want to use the classic controller. Uh, I was gonna. So I have some experience with Donkey Kong Country Returns because of the Donkey Kong line charity event we did a couple years ago, and I did not mind the nunchuck and Wemo combination. I'm gonna yeah, play the game yeah. as originally designed, but I appreciate it. No worries. Did you get the um, arcade stuff? There? Yes, I did. Uh, we'll be oh, getting yeah, that set up set later that today. Up. Yeah. Alrighty. Because uh, that is that is know... tomorrow, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, let me check. Uh, so. Um, tomorrow I have the Doom Eternal race, which we're planning on going for five hours, um, and then, uh, and then Ted I don't has know Pik how- then Ted, Ted has Pikmin right after, and then you guys got Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, yeah so, there is a chance that I just take a nap in between, um, because I gotta be up earlier than I would like, which is yeah, fine, time. I, I'm fine doing it for charity. Um, <sighs> So ideally, if we could get that set up today, John. Um, yeah, that's fine. Right, that work out. I, all right, I'm done. I should have nice. to. All right, and that's it. Crash Bandicoot 3 has been finished by both runners. Oh, I only got one platinum. Jeez. With an hour and a half to spare. Oh. <laughs> shall, shall we try yeah, either? That's, that's a good point. We are still kind of, yeah, just kind of sitting around on dead shall, air for shall, like an hour and a half. Yeah, shall we right. uh, try uh, Future Tense or uh, Stormy Assassin? Yeah, I would say try the DLC levels now. Um, yeah, Let's right. Let's do uh, co-op Bandicoot. And, and we can, and we we don't have to all we don't have to wait exactly if you no, if you we, if you, we you run, run out of so. if run of stuff we can start uh, the beat 'em up game whenever. You know what we should do? Run. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> yes, abandon <laughs> charity. Nobody right, will ever so, know. Um, um, okay, so we're jumping in at basically the same time. I was, okay, I was going to say, so let's rush this, and then I also vote that we go back to the main menu and rush through um, Stormy Ascent. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that sounds fine. Uh, we got a, a six, uh, $6.10 from Damned Girl 7 Thank you for answering my cartoon questions. Uh, for John and Ryan, I uh, see so you've been watching Disney cartoons, so if, you, if you've if you seen uh, Phineas and Ferb or Gravity Falls, which one do you like better? Uh, from what I've heard, Gravity Falls is better. I haven't uh, watched much Phineas and Ferb. The only real thing I know is like memes about like Perry the Platypus, and um, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time something happened, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, which I use a lot, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Who is, Same. Who is I this, didn't even uh, know this from that show. Who is this question targeted to? Well, they said John and Ryan, but I guess anybody can answer. Okay. It. Yeah, because I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer my real quickly. I, I never watched the shows. I don't watch Disney cartoons. I did oh recently finish. He's a Amphib man. I did recently finish Amphibia, and that was really good. Right. Um. I very highly recommend Gravity Falls. I'm not really much of a Disney guy, but Gravity Falls might be my favorite animated show, period. Like, I, I, I started watching Owl House, but that was last week, and I haven't picked it up back since. Like, I, I, and I tend on to, but the charity event's been taking my priority. Uh, but no, I, I don't watch Disney cartoons. It's just because I don't really think about it. Um, I did watch a lot of Phineas and Ferb growing up. Uh, I really liked it as a kid. I don't think I would love it as much now, but there's still a lot of things that I would be able to appreciate about it. Doofenshmirtz um, Evil Incorporated. Dude, I adore Doofenshmirtz. Like, <laughs> he's a thing that holds the show together. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, a, a glaring thing that I'm noticing between the HD release of this game and Switch is that the Switch does not have reflections no, on the mirror. No, it does not. No, How are you supposed to find the hidden box in the Good pack? luck. <laughs> I think they moved it specifically for the Switch version, so it's somewhere else. I mean, that is so weird. Um, I'm done. discrepancies! Run and validate it! Alright, and uh, Caddy is first to finish Future Tense. I died once in the hey. beginning, so... Yeah, yeah. 
I think but the real shit, they, I'm really, I'm really interested in the Stormy Ascent uh, race. Right. See if anyone can actually oh, fucking yeah. finish it. The good, th the good thing though is that once we boot up Crash One from a new game, because you get it immediately, don't you? You have yeah. Stormy Ascent, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we'll have exactly the same amount of lives and everything. So that might make things very interesting. Yeah, let me just finish Chaser Dance and then we can go there. Uh, the last thing I did in Crash One before I put the game down was I, I got the gem from Stormy Ascent. Was that the, was the, the last thing you did? Like, did you play the game normally beforehand, or did you like you yeah, yeah. go? Yeah, I, I played. Okay. I played the game through, and then I went through and got all the gems. Right. Uh, and then I started to try to get all the time trial relics, and then that's when I put the game down. Oh no! Well, you time tri <laughs> platinum time trial relic on Stormy Ascent, man! Fuck! Jesus Christ! All right, just finish. I was just finish your aiming to get gold when I did my run of uh, plat with Crash One last year. It was like, yeah, right, just I'm going get the gold. It'll be fine. That's all you need to get home. Right. I did have... Stormy Ascent and they got the platinum. I'm like, okay, now we're platinum the rest of this game. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, you have to do level one, which is weird. I, yeah. I thought you could just start the game. Okay, Maybe well, you can that much. Yeah. Can you click think... to the. Hmm. I don't think you so. You need to get to, I want to say. Oh, no, the Whopper the Islands. There you go. Oh, oh there you go. Are oh, you just okay, entering? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you just so just quit the level and then go back. Okay. All right. So once Ryan gets to the level itself, we'll begin another countdown and get things started. It'll take me a moment. Yeah. If fine. I ever do a video on Crash, I'll uh, I'll try to platinum everything. But I think I'm gonna give up on that in the meantime. <laughs> Unless you're making a dedicated video to that, I'd say you really don't. Oh yeah, it's it. not worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth it. It 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 paid off dividends for me, but that's because it's me doing a video about well, it. You so. did um. You did a dedicated like all relics video, right? Yeah, exactly. That like who, who like who else is gonna care if I get all the platinum relics in GBA Nitro Car? Like okay. no one's gonna I, care. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'll care, okay. right, ah! I'll count. I'll count down again from five. Ow. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's see how much quicker the loading is. Yeah, yeah. This is actually really uh, pretty interesting. It's actually about the same. Is it really? Well, let's see. No, he's a um, bit faster. Yeah, because uh, Caddy is playing the PC version on SSD. Ryan is playing oh, the yeah. Switch version. Oh, yeah, look, it wasn't that much faster. Interesting. I could see that yeah, making it. The Switch version is really damn good. Like, I've got yeah, no complaints it's, about it's, it. It's, it's better optimized than I thought it would be. Huh. Yeah, because um, forever ago, John, when we did that Crash 1 race with Linky. Right. Oh, dang it. Some of us were on PC, some of us were on Switch. Right, and right. And that was after the updates. Good. Yeah, because it was after the, 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 the low time updates. True. Good luck. You'll need it. I was actually thinking of Smash TV a lot when I was playing Ratchet Deadlock. Uh, I should this, not have smacked my desk. This, this is something, uh, so, something that I found uh, recently at a used bookstore that I thought was really cool related to Crash is this Dark House, this this Dark Horse book called Crash: The Crash Bandicoot Files. How Willy the Wombat sparked Marsupial Mania. I, I was no, do you know what? I was gifted that at TMG from a fan Ooh, at my, nice. at my um, signing. And I've, I've I've skimmed through it. It's so fucking cool. It's basically just a load of like, um, it's a load of like photocopies of like old concepts and notes from notebooks in the '90s and stuff about what they wanted to do. It's just really cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, because I, I I thought it was gonna be oh this is just like a dot like a a autobiography about the making of Crash. And it's no, it's like it's all the concept art, all the documents of these are the levels we want to do. Here's like the here's the Bible for Crash and like all the character designs. And I'm like this is amazing. Like I always love like whenever whenever studios like they do that, they actually put out the original like work. It's not just yeah. saying like, oh, this is what we did, just in text form. It's like, yeah, it's it's awesome. And I'm so glad that I just found it because apparently it's like out of stock everywhere else. Oh, jeez. Must have been else if you like friends. See, I, I, nearly, I nearly got myself in a trap there. If mm. you get all the, the Brio tokens, you go straight to that bonus level, don't you? Oh, no, no, there's a, pl a platform no, no. in this version, isn't platform, there? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 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 Can, even if you did, it wouldn't be a big deal because you could just die. No, this isn't the... um. PlayStation One original where it would crash the game because there was no Hell yeah. there was no uh, bonus. Yeah, it, it did. Yeah, there was. It didn't have a bonus. Just a point two. Uh, we have a five dollar donation from Santiago. Uh, good morning to America land and afternoon to UK land land. Uh, I'm gonna donate just a bit of money for a whoa cause, and I hope you all have a great weekend. My question is: Have you uh, have any of you saw that Square Enix published the game for spoken? <sighs> trailer with the really <laughs> cringy dialogue with the Josh Whedon dialogue yes no oh, I have God. not but given everybody else's response to it I felt like I have 
Well, that certainly uh, happened. I'll, I'll just say this: it made me cry like an anime fan on prom night. <laughs> Let's go. So was so, so the the issue with the trailer, from what I gather, because I I still have not watched the trailer, is that there's a lot of self aware snide dialogue over. Yeah. Is it yeah. is, is it an isekai? Yeah. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Hip young Zoomer goes to Fantasy World and, and I'm don't killing see... freaking dragons! Yeah, if you have to describe them as freaking dragons, you've lost me. Yeah, it, it's one of those, it's trying way too hard. It's, it's also, it's, it's one of those, it's like, okay, I'm sure some people talk like that, but most don't, and it's like, it just feels very, how do you do, fellow kids? If anybody's, if anybody is talking like that, it's usually to themselves, yeah. and not like through a megaphone or some other shit. Or they're a let's player on Roblox. Or the, the other problem um, with it yeah. is that the other problem is that it sucks all the kind of seriousness of the situation. So you're basically telling me I shouldn't take this game seriously. Uh, it depends on. I mean, if that's the tone the game elicits, then sure. But that's clearly but, not what it's going for. Uh, you see, I never. I, I always think that you can never really elicit a game's tone without getting, playing the game yourself, or at least watching a long play. Like, and I got a game over. <laughs> a trailer is a trailer. A trailer is supposed to make you like want the game and so far uh, great job on that <laughs> but uh i i feel if the game in itself from beginning to end is kind of like this snidey sarcastic hey get a load of this guy sort of attitude then i guess the trailer works but nobody knows that so it just comes off really fucking cringy it's more it's more that the other trailers didn't do that at all they took it fairly seriously right so it's like where so the hell did you, this come you have from? to wonder like what's going on it's like was this a is this how the, the game base. was always supposed to be, was or did something? Switch? Yeah. I haven't seen the trailer, but from everything I heard, it seems like kind of like that. It, it, it's the it, uh, Strangers of Paradise basically did what that's trying to do, but better. Like yeah. that, that, that that whole kind of like the 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 iron the the uh, juxtaposition irony uh, of like just kind of like weird shit going on, but like yeah, without without as much winking to the audience. Like with with Strangers in Paradise, it just 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 has it be goofy just to be goofy. <sighs> like you like you have the like the like pretty much everything like yeah, literally everything was back. Uh, I want I want to mention something that Soul Kibble in the Twitch chat saying uh, something to consider is that the only games that can get away with that kind of trailer are Devil May Cry and Bayonetta. Would you could you say that for the first Devil May Cry or Bayonetta when they were revealed? Probably like not. It, no, probably not because you don't know what those games elicit, and uh, I feel that it, it depends on the kind of game Forsaken ends up being. And if it ends up being something of a similar vibe, then I would say in retrospect the trailer works, but nobody knows what the fuck Forsaken is going for, so it's really hard to say. Also, I, I could you could actually DMC like the the, re, the reboot kind of ended up the doing that kind of uh, style, and not a lot of people liked it. With it, with its very snarky, uh, yeah. like self awareness, and that people didn't like those self aware jokes. Yeah. Thing is, though, it's all contextual, right? Because DM the DMC reboot is very much of its time, and this yeah. is now very much of its time, and that's the thing. I think it's it's trying too hard to appeal to culture right now. I'm dead, by the way. I'm yeah. out. I got no. I got a game over too, so I'm at the beginning. <laughs> 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 I'm that's sorry. That's all we can afford. <laughs> Someone keeps blowing the balloon. What if he wants to go to heaven, but God said, <laughs> "You missed my boxes." <laughs> yeah, I reckon I've got this little I got this little theory in my head where, like, if you released DMC now, and I think this this is kind of true, if you released that now, people would actually be all right with it because it's like now in retrospect, people are like, "Oh, it's not that bad." Everyone was just overreacting at the time because of the way culture was at the time, but then. That's the thing. It's like it's always in retrospect because at the time it was really goddamn annoying. It's like looking at Shadow the Hedgehog and liking it now, but um, then being in 2005 and being like, "Oh come on!" You, uh, no, you know? I, it, it's more that the gameplay is fine, and I think most people agree on that. It's just more the characterization and writing is still trash. Do you think that part of that could be because of um, people anticipating that that was going to be how the rest of the series was going to play out, or the franchise going forward? I mean, possibly, yeah. sure. No, I, I don't think people. I don't think people's attention spans are that good. I mean, me too. <laughs> but you know, people get angry over everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it's like everything. Yeah. Yeah, th that was what I think. I think the reason why people really didn't like that one because they thought, oh, this this is the new Dante. Like this is like we're not going to get any more of that original Dante. So when DMC Five came out and both Dantes were in it, people were like, oh, I like this Dante now because he's not the only Dante. 
Well, both Dantes weren't in the game now. Yeah. Um, total tonal shift. I just got a comment on my Mega Man X7 video that says Sigma sounds like he's gonna tell me about gay frogs. <laughs> <laughs> He does kind of have an Alex Jones voice at uh, X7, if I remember correctly. He's literally called Sigma. He's the original Sigma male. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, have a, uh, we have a twenty dollars donation for Comic Man 315. Uh, hello, all. Here's so a great second weekend. Can Johnny as Kermit the Frog, crazy Muppet voice, crazy, uh, cr crazy? Muppet. Oh, I, I, all right. Uh, Rick, Yours roll us moralists? for the charity. Uh, for by singing some of "Never Gonna Give You Up," there's there's here's the second one. Uh, I can ring, I can sing like the first one. Uh, let me see here. As Kermit, or the crazy Muppet voice. Oh my my crazy sarcastic Muppet voice whenever I'm mocking someone for dying or pointing out a really fucking painfully obvious joke. <laughs> uh, uh, we're no strangers to love. Uh, you, you know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> it's a full commitment. What I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Oh shit. Uh, is there a gun uh, on your head right now? Sounds like Ray it's, Romano. I just want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, it, was kind of, it is kind of Ray Romano. Uh, I just want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, it's going to make you understand. It, it's kind of more. Yeah, I'm kind of falling more into Ray Romano. Uh, I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. I'm never going to run around and desert you. No, not. <laughs> never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell love and hurt you. I really got to work on that. I think I can do a Ray Romano if I have a little more practice. Never going to give you again. up. Never gonna let you down. <laughs> Never gonna run around and desert, desert you. <laughs> yeah, I got another game over. Here. Make me cry. <laughs> Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> and uh, then we got six dollars and sixty-nine cents from Damned Girl Seven. Let's go. Thank you for helping people with diabetes and answering all my cartoon questions. One last question for all. Uh, do you like, uh, what do you like more, Bojack Horseman or Big Mouth? Love you all. Neither. Uh, <laughs> watched them. Uh, so, I here's the like thing. Cartoon, I'm an adult. I know, I, know, cartoons. <laughs> I know you shouldn't, you should never judge a book by its cover. I just, but I, 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 yeah, I, I, I have to say I, I avoided Big Mouth just because I hate its fucking art style. Yeah, yeah I absolutely I'm, I'm fucking detest it. its art. Yeah, I hate its art style. And there's only so much I can tolerate before I, I realize I'm constantly looking at something that I do not visually find I, interesting. I, there's oh, something I, consider as well, like, uh, something I didn't think about until I um, until I started meeting a lot of people for the first time in the flesh ever since like COVID properly <laughs> kicked off. Yeah. Um, is that like a lot of the people that were asking me questions are like like late teens, early twenties, and it's like I think a lot of a lot of what my opinions on things have has changed a bit because the older you get the more you value your time and it's like i don't i don't even like if i don't think i'm gonna like something i'm not even gonna try going into it you know because it's yeah. like if i think i'm not gonna jive with it to begin with um i want to use my time in another way you know but that's very unfair i i, I understand that but that's just getting older and being a curmudgeon at that's the just, end of the day you have your preference on, so. yeah at the end of the day you have a preference and you just want to stick with that and that sort of shit uh that said i i, I hear uh, great things about bojack horseman uh yes, but so I, I, I still have I, i've not watched that myself so that is, it is very sad yeah yeah that's what i hear all the time and like yeah i, I love sad <laughs> but it's just one of those, I'll, I'll get to it at some point or another. I watched the sad horse show just to feel <laughs> <Yeah>. something. <laughs> and it's sad. I, I, uh, I think that says a lot about like a, what my big, there are a lot of problems with the internet, but I think one of my biggest problems is that everybody believes that they need to have an opinion on everything, that they just can't be neutral about something because they yeah, aren't interested. Yeah. It's like, it oh, depends, it, do you know what? It depends a lot, I think, on what your fuck off. That was the end of the oh, level. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm gonna go again. Uh, yeah, but I think um, it depends. Like the the landscape of how people view things has changed a lot in the last, not even five years, ten years, fifteen years, and I think a lot of kids, especially, are watching people that they really admire and look up to, and they're thinking, well, if I admire this person, they said this about this certain thing, then that means I have to feel the same way, or I have to start God. picking things apart in this much level of detail. And then you remember, hang on a second, well, the, the, it's their job to pick things apart. Like, you don't have to live life like that, you know? So this might, an extension of that, this might also come across differently because I'm much smaller than you guys. Um, one thing that really gets under my skin is 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm making a video where I post an opinion on Twitter sure. and people don't have their own opinions about something and they're just yeah. like well this guy this creator this youtuber oh said my this God. thing about it literally the worst fucking thing you can do on twitter and i'm saying this right now uh, as far as free advice is don't at me with saying oh my God, like, yeah oh, I, I started like, getting that too that's not what someone called me john said i was like this guy doesn't know who I am. Like, what what relevance does that have to this discussion? Please do not do that. Also, For- if, you're, if, if you're putting my, my opinion on a pedestal when I like to put on extended arm, like cut up custom shirts and yeah. like cone head prosthetics while running around and screaming that I'm Long Dennis. If you're going to put my <laughs> opinion on a fucking pedestal, then that's your that's a oh you problem. That that's is literally not- like. Maybe some people enjoy that sort of shit, but I think that's one of the worst things you can do if, for, in terms of dis, uh, discourse uh, anywhere. It doesn't even necessarily oh, yeah. have to be Twitter. Like, just discourse anywhere. It was like, well, according to some call me John, the, this Sonic game is actually not that good. It's like, it, that is so irrelevant to the discussion. Form your own opinion, please, for God's sake. So, um, on the, when I uh, was flying back from Pennsylvania after too many games, it was like a week after or something. Um, I don't remember if it was that day or the day after, but I saw the video with the fucking long... Oh, I forgot the name already. Long Dennis. <laughs> yeah, Long Dennis. Uh, I, I, I was watching it on my phone during the flight because I had free Wi-Fi, and I was trying so hard not to just bust a gut. That is very, very kind of you to say. That's all no, I. That's all up. I want to do. That's all I want to do. I just want. I just want to give. I just want to go through an unnecessary amount of effort to make strangers chuckle on the internet. That's all I want to do. Life's life's it, life's serious enough as it is, and I feel like, and that's a big reason why I look back at my older stuff, and I just can't look. I can't look at myself the same way because it's like, yeah, I know it served its purpose at the time and everything, but it's like when I review I shit. Know. It just comes across as so like my opinion is above everyone else's and I just can't stand it because that's not how I feel, but it comes across like that and ugh. And other people will be like, oh, it doesn't come across like that. Yeah, but to me, in my head, it does. So I wrote it and I performed it. So, you know, shut up. <laughs> uh, Trav, did you ever read the Yeah, I things? was just about to comment on that because I right. realized I just forgot it. All right, uh, give me a second to warm up. Like, I'm always going to be uh, supportive of those uh, watching my videos, uh, old and new, but uh, don't don't quote or paraphrase me when it comes to discussing opinions. Like, just don't do that. For, always form your own opinions on whatever. I hate that I have, like, I, I apparently have the go-to opinions about Doom Eternal on the yeah. internet, and I, I've gotten added even recently, and I posted that video, like, two years ago, maybe three, just like, oh, well, Trav said this. I'm like... Okay, does this person know who I am? Why do they yeah, care? Exactly. I know, I know. That's exactly repeating the point that you just said. But like, Christ. Okay. Yeah, like at the end of the day, people I think need to disassociate. They need to realize that we're mostly doing this shit to entertain people. At least I am, anyway. So, like, don't take. Even if I say I don't like something, that's mostly just because I don't like it, and that's okay. You can like it, but I'm yeah, like just. You don't need to then get upset with me because I didn't like something that you do or what. Like oh, that's God, not what. Yeah. That's not, if that's what if that's what you're going into my videos looking for, then you're you're on the wrong fucking channel. You know. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I want to watch the funny <laughs> man play the train game. <laughs> Val Valkyrie uh, in the chat. That's a nice opinion. Did a YouTuber, Did a YouTuber, YouTuber give it to you? Give it to you? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I remember that one. <laughs> I. I love that picture. It's just the Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. Scene, yeah. All right. <laughs> With my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them the real meaning of this world. Oh, I'm going into Joe Swanson again. Um, <laughs> oh, and forget about escaping your old save file. It's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that safe file. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> but don't worry, your old friend Flowey Plankton! Uh, your old friend Plankton has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save him over. Uh, 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 hold on. Line. Come on! Come on! <laughs> I'll save over your own okay. death, so you can watch me tear your te- uh, tear you to bloody pieces. <laughs> <laughs> over and over, 
What? You really think you could stop me? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> This is more, it's becoming more red for Red and Stimpy. <laughs> you sick little monkey. See, all I, you imagine idiot. Is just, all I imagine is just actual Plankton just in a flower costume, saying all of this, <laughs> making all the same mistakes, and SpongeBob is just looking at him concerned. Just Give me the of... fucking formula, Krabs! <laughs> oh, my throat. Have you ever considered becoming like an, an a, a rant sonar? But, like on YouTube, but like having like the still image of Plankton going through like a couple oh. of expressions. Just shut your face, you mediocre pacifist player. <laughs> Caddy, I think you might have just jump started my career. <laughs> yeah. I won't take any royalties. It's fine. You can have that on me. Oh, you can have them. I'm not really royalty, but you can. <laughs> Arms crossed, Plankton Sona. Arm. <laughs> he needs a bulge. <laughs> the, yeah, the arms crossed is very important. Beautiful voice acting. Yeah, I don't know why I never get hired. <laughs> yeah, come on, Viacom. What the fuck? <laughs> Mediocre. <laughs> Maybe they can hire you for the gritty reboot that they'll eventually do. All right. Plankton said the fuck word. I heard gritty reboot and I processed that differently because I, I'm, <laughs> I'm from Philadelphia and I thought really? of a fucking Flyers mascot. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, the, the, the orange thing, yeah, yeah the I forget. Yeah, that, that's a Philadelphia the Flyers thing. The orange thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I called our awesome. president. Yeah. It's like, it's, yeah, like the, the, the honey monster looking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the honey, the cheerio, honey monster, you know, after rehab and relapse. <laughs> I don't know why that's enough to make me laugh. It's just, it's just two fucking seconds of the SpongeBob theme, and that's enough to make me giggle. Fucking aunt messaged me after the Kirby race and he's like, because of you, I just hear the first note of a Spongebob song and I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh, that was oh my guy. god, so we're sitting at $11,843. I want to say something. You guys are so hard committed to making sure the last two digits of our donation total was either 69 or 0. Well, no, we got, we got 69, 69, 69. Yeah, uh, and that's honestly where the stream should have stopped, <laughs> but it, it didn't because you guys love you guys love diabetes research that much, and we love you for it. But uh, yeah, we we're we're in getting history. closer and closer. I'm not like. Do you think there's ever been a really tiny channel that has done a really really sweet thing and like done something for charity, but because they're such a small channel, they couldn't raise that much, and they managed to get like sixty nine dollars sixty nine, and they had to actually go to this charity and be like, yeah, here's here's sixty nine sixty nine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can write this off my text. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, five dollars for blue Dido. Okay, I'm running on donation money, but I got to get five dollars now as an extra payment for crab blowing out of his throat. <laughs> Beautiful bastard. Thank you. I'm glad I can uh, contribute. Well, do you know what? I've I, like I've only met you once in person. That was at TMG, and all the so the only image I have of you is you on that first night completely pissed off your face and sweating like you just got out of the shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining the plankton voice with the music and your hulking like sweaty body just like screaming and throwing sweat all over the place and that is the best image i can ever come up with in my head that should be the only image in your head yeah. um, like i don't know if you don't sweat in any other situation but you were sweating a lot at tmg oh, on dude, one I, night <laughs> when you met me there. when you met me i was drunk <laughs> oh yeah, yeah so, I, I got the impression you were completely um, wasted I, I felt, oh, I was so embarrassed. Like, I met Scott and everything, or everyone there. Like, I, I met so many people there that I made connections with. And I'm just like, oh, man, I was so drunk. I should not have been drunk. Um, uh, I'm, I'm glad I did, though. It was uh, a good moment. Sometimes, anyway. you need, sometimes you need the drink to be confident enough to meet peers and stuff like that. Dude, That's they fine. Call it, yeah. They call it liquid courage for a reason. Liquid courage is, never mind. Um, <laughs> no, it's not piss. Oh, I was going to say come, but... Oh, okay. Um, no. uh, you, you already had that on your soundboard. <laughs> True, hold on. <laughs> Not again! Oh my no. god, no. <laughs> that, that, would, that would make three times. <laughs> I mean, has Caddy heard it? Yeah, play for Caddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, can, I can just hear that. What is it? No. Uh, no hold works. on, I'll, I'll turn it up a bit. 
overcome. I do anything for Jesus. I found over 1,700 times in the Word of God where this word is used, come, and that's not cometh and the rest of the comes, but that's just come. <laughs> Preaching my heart out for 45 minutes to an hour on that one word, come, and it was one of our Lord's favorite <laughs> words. Come unto me, come and drink, come and dine. Jesus said, come, come, come and yeah. come, come, and it goes on and on and on. I know this is dumb, friends, but there are people that still haven't got it, so bear with me. When I say come, it means come. And I'm coming. You're coming. When I turn to my son and I say come, I want them to come. That word come is universal in its application. Come. What did Jesus say to his disciples? Come. There's no room for discussion, friend. Guess what? Come. Come. It commands obedience. Come, come, come. How many of you have the Holy Ghost comes, coming you? you come, comes, does come. it. He was crucified for you. He died for you. He did everything for you. It's time nice. for you to come. He's come. He's already come. He wasn't just a baby in a manger, friend. That it was really God. funny because I'm I hearing all this the guy the screaming about come while um while the crash and bends the over and looks like he's really not enjoying himself. Come. And ever since Jesus came, he said, I've done my part. Now you come. You come. I came. You come. come quick. What is this hesitating stuff? That's demonic, friend. You're going to die. And one day when you die, you're going to be with him whether you like it or not. And I don't want him to look at me when I die and say, I've been calling you all your life. Now through death, you had to come. I said, come, 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 come. For those of you that don't believe that, friend, you need to read your Bible. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh I'm my glad God. I had another excuse to play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've reached the proverbial turkey. All I heard was Woody Harrelson that whole time. <laughs> and Blah Six says it better be in the highlights. Oh, what time? Because that's the third time we played that clip for this charity. Yeah. Event. yeah. And I will probably play it once more. One more time, yeah. <laughs> some, some, well, if you go on the Metroid Dread uh, upload on YouTube, somebody linked to it. So you can just oh, go right God. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should see what comments are on that uh, VOD. Yeah, good that job. That race good was job, so Katie. good. I'm giving this one more chance with the current lives I have, and then we'll call it. Yeah, you guys played phenomenally the Big Crash 3 as, uh, as fast as you guys did. So uh, good shit to both of you. Fit. Good. It's okay. Thank thanks, guys. That's mm. okay. We'll see you all in therapy. <laughs> Steve Austin glass shattering sound <laughs> I didn't think I'd be doing Stormy Ascent again. What but, was the you context know. for that? What was the the glass, oh, the glass, the glass, glass. shatter? Was it, it was it, the, it was the reading a uh, symphony of the night. Thing. Oh, the symphony of the glass, yeah. the wine glass drop. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, I'm gonna edit in the Stone Cold Steve Austin glass shattering. Uh, does anyone have that sound on them? The Steve uh, Austin shattering? No, I don't. Yeah. Not on uh, the board, yeah. anyway. Well, no, not on the board, but here, wait. Uh, it should be on YouTube. No, because uh, I was actually, I put a note. I'm working on uh, the second half. <laughs> Um, I'm working on the second half of my Metroid Prime video, and I had a note of just a funny glass breaking sound question mark. Yeah. Um, that's what you're saying. That was like, hmm, maybe I can use that. Oh, guys, it's the eight year anniversary of PT. Holy shit. What the fuck? Has it already been that long? Rest in yep. peace. Pieces. That sounds right, actually. Yeah. And Guillermo del Toro tweeted about it and said, FK. What does that mean? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, the game never got made. <laughs> I think he's just really sad. In Kojima! <laughs> FK, do you know what that could mean? I think it just means he has to pay his respects because he couldn't get a box of Special K this morning. Oh yeah, wait, it might be, it might mean fuck Konami. Yeah, it might mean fuck Konami, yeah. yeah. And then Hideo's like, I follow his English account and he's just posted, It's been eight years, ghost emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I'm very proud. I've got my I've got my old PS4 from like my original launch one when PT came out, and it's still downloaded. It's still on there, and it's nice. probably worth a lot of money yeah. on eBay. I still have uh, the triple decker PS4. Uh, no, I think I left it back in Philly, but Mark has it, and he's never getting rid of it. So I uh, technically oh, the still the have the pro model. The pro model, yeah. I love the pro model, but it looks like a fucking triple deluxe sandwich. Yeah, it does. It does a bit. Yeah, it looks a bit like a binder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last binders. chance. For me, anyway. Alright, so when I think of binders, I think of the thing that holds your boobies down. Um, that's cool. I, I think of uh, Trapper is Keepers for me, personally. Is it something yeah. familiar with? Is, is, are you talking from experience? I have man boobs. Okay, same. Uh, I'll drink to that. See, see, I didn't see them at TMG, so that that explains a bit. Oh, you were, yeah, you were using, weren't you? Maybe... You were using. 
No, I wasn't wearing flannel then, John. You should understand. I was sweating so hard. I had I, one I, drink. I, I had I, one I, drink of Sonic's lemonade. I'm just saying right now, I wouldn't, in any other circumstance, I would never mention sweat on anybody as a characteristic, but he, but Trav was unbelievably sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Not in any, it actually looked like you just jumped in the Hilton's <laughs> pool and just stepped out again. Like we're talking, you can see your reflection on his forehead, sweaty. Yeah, like, no, uh, pretty close. No, you yeah. couldn't see this. You could, you could see the future. It was like... <laughs> Was it like that's Gavin's? normally what I use John's head for? Was it like I'm sorry, that was me. And and and, th and that's not me being horrible because I I just came no, back from the it's gym. True. It's like and it's like I trust me. Like I I I've God, what is it I'm doing? I I plateaued with losing weight recently, so I'm now doing a thing where after every workout, I'm now doing like 15 minutes of an incline, like five mile an hour walk on a treadmill. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like much, but that it adds up. Um, yeah. after 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 about seven minutes, you're like, oh, oh my god, I want to stop, but. Like I was, uh, I was looking down at one of these sessions, and I noticed that the like the the treadmill itself was was soaking in puddles, and I was like, oh my god, there's a leak in the roof. Oh no, it was, it was, my, it was my head. It was just my face. <laughs> and so like I I know what it's like to be extra sweaty, but like that was because I was working out. I don't know what you were doing, Trav, but like oh, holy shit, I don't know what I was doing either. <laughs> Do you remember um, any of that? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember it pretty well. Um because i am a super lightweight and i don't know like i i remember shit while i'm intoxicated pretty decently okay okay um, so yeah all right okay i've never gotten so drunk that i forget um right you cut your conscience your co conscious sorry your conscious, conscious yeah you're, that, you're, you're aware so it's like uh, so oh. it, so does it feel like because this is i'm this is just me asking as someone who doesn't drink and doesn't get drunk is it like there's a tiny little man controlling your head and you're just unable to do anything about it and you're just witnessing it or like yeah, that's actually a, a good way to put it it's like i in the back of my mind i am completely aware of everything that's going on and i just have less self-control that sounds horrifying why do people want to do that i don't know Damn. It's Plankton taking control. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funniest thing about that whole, that whole meeting with you specifically is that like, I met you on that night and you were drenched in sweat and you were very drunk and then I never saw you again. So it's like you were some sort of genie. You just oh, arrived and that was okay. <laughs> that, That's a good way to describe my existence. Oh my god. Uh, I have to get going soon. Uh, got some things I to take care of before my Final Fantasy 14 race later today. Uh, we do have one more donation I want to read out. This is five uh, five dollars or one cent from Damn Girl Seven. Uh, sorry, one more. What do you guys think of the HBO Max uh, Harley Quinn cartoon? It's good. It's uh, funny yeah, here. Uh, I still have not watched it in full. I've watched uh, episodes uh, piecemeal uh, here and there, but I love it every time I watch it. Uh, uh, I think that they really got uh, the, the the comedy down for every villain in Batman's Rogue Gallery. So I definitely Where's recommend it. My goddamn it. electric car, Bruce. <laughs> Honestly, you know, I you know, do you know what like okay it's not the cartoon but like a movie that surprised me i watched it on the plane to tmg and i just put it on because i wanted background noise while i was playing vampire survivors and i was like ah oh, i heard this was good fucking the suicide squad really surprised me i loved that movie oh the second movie yeah we we, yeah. we saw that uh opening day of theater i believe no early because <laughs> yeah, we, we had an early screening thing. yeah we had, sorry we did have an early screening for that one and yeah uh we we all watched yeah. it and we like this is very good remarkably solid like it's such a step up from the first one what Right, it's not very hard to do, but uh, yeah, it was a fun time. Yeah, it was like it exuded this energy of we're in a Marvel movie, but we're sick of being a Marvel movie, so fuck everything and let's rip everyone's head off. And I love, I love that. <laughs> like, it's pro it's the proper anti Marvel movie. Not that I've got anything against against Marvel, but going from the n the latest Doctor Strange, even though that did have its gruesome bits, but going from that to Suicide Squad is like, oh, I see what they're trying to do. They're just trying to stick everyone's finger up. Like, I'm fucking this car. It, 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 it's basically James Gunn being like, "Oh, I can do literally whatever I want now." Okay, I was yeah. I was really hoping that that was kind of the direction that DC would go with their movies. Like they, I think that DC could totally pull off a comic book cinematic universe that's R rated. Mm. Yeah, um, I would agree. But uh, it seems like they're not doing. I that think it depends right. on the hero. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, or, or villain. Like, like Shazam shouldn't do that. But. No, that's like Shazam, <laughs> Superman, maybe Batman. Uh, uh, don't need to necessarily do that, but Deathstroke, like any villain, any anybody from like the from like Lex Luthor's lineup can get away with the R-rated movie, and I think it'd be great. 
Yeah. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to get into the, the charity. Can you can you Discord at me? Because I can't. I can't. I'm on Twitch on on my phone and I can't find uh, the link for the charity. Do you want me to DM you? Yeah, please. Yeah, hold on then. Right click message. Uh, that's uh, it. I am going to get going. Well, we're, uh, about, guys. we're about to wrap up the crash. Uh, stuff, your so. message yeah. could not be delivered. This is. I will see you guys later for the Final uh, Fantasy just, 14 just, race later today. Just post it in uh, like jump. general or something. John, I'm sorry. I made a crystal ball joke about your head. Let me, uh, what? Pop it in. <laughs> you think you're the first? <laughs> no, but I felt bad. <laughs> All right, Trav, don't, it, Trav, don't, don't, Trav, don't feel too bad. I'm the one who got him to stand in front of a restaurant at the airport called Balducci's. Yeah, Baldi's, right? <laughs> yeah, it was fun because I make fun of fucking. I make, I make fun of Ryan's fucking David Lynch style hair all the damn time so yeah, <laughs> it's <so>. great <laughs> alright have a good day everybody I'll see you later today for the Final Fantasy 14 race against me and Linky uh, hope you guys enjoy that one alright hi John alright yeah, um, it's in the uh, voice channel if you need a cast oh okay yeah I'll, get, I'll head there right now awesome. um, so we'll uh, let Caddy get his uh, donation in and then I think we'll call for the crash race we'll take a brief break just so I can uh Take a few minutes to get some water and do all that stuff, and then we'll be back with uh, me and Stefan for, I assume, Ninja Turtles. Well, then let's see. Uh, pretty sure, uh, yep. TMNT Shredder's Revenge is the winner. So nice, nice. Yep. So we will start that up uh, probably in about uh, fifteen-ish ma- uh, fifteen minutes max. Uh, g- g- give me, bit, give me yeah. twenty, just so I can like. Okay. Yeah. Tw- yeah. We'll see. So meet you. Meet you up around. Yeah. Twelve twenty, and you will see. Awesome. That's how it. does oh there's chat? No, what? How does Discord work? Uh, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the stream channel and I can't find the text like oh, at all. Um, it's in business casual. There'll be a dedicated text channel called Voice Chat. It's in there. Oh right, 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 right. Um, oh there. Oh I see. Oh, I did uh, DM you it, but uh, your message it, could not be delivered. This is it didn't go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just got tagged. There we go. Thank you. Wait a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Apparently, Clyde didn't like me DMing you. <laughs> to which I say, fuck you, Clyde. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll read Caddy's right. donation when it goes up, and then we'll end the stream. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to, like, round this up as best as I can. Wait, One minute, million have... dollars. <laughs> every, for every subscriber. All I asked for... Okay, Mr. Beast. Beast. I mean, if, er- I mean, if every um, subscriber of Caddy's <laughs> did donate, we'd get to a million dollars. <laughs> I'm trying the, to do. I'm trying to do maths right now. Okay, one, two. <laughs> Send. <laughs> Count um, it on your fingers. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm gonna get this. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's how it works. It's like PayPal. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I have done that right. Let's see when it uh, refreshes itself momentarily. It may take a minute or two to show up. Yeah, it's just okay. A Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'll be right there. I am. I'm loving the applause. Feels like I'm doing something important. I mean, it's for I'm charity, so it is important. <laughs> I feel it's like we're at a theater. Okay, I, I, I pray that I've, I did this without a calculator. I'm hoping I... Yes, I fucking rounded it! Oh! There you go. What? Hey! Holy shit. $13,000! Hey, there we go. That was, that was annoying. Like, that, need, that needed to be rounded up. So, there you go. Our new top donor... One thousand one hundred and forty-six dollars and thirty cents. Jim Caddick. See, maths is useful. It is. Where do you want to put your money? Damn. You, yes. You could have oh. put your money into something. Ah, huh? oh, you have it. You have a. You have a canned laugh track. Incredible. Yeah. So, uh, what? What? Uh... Uh, bid wars do we have that Caddy could put his money to? Oh no, he, he he already sent the money, so he can't put the bid war in. No, uh, no, 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 I didn't, do, I didn't do that for that. I just that, that's just that's just what yeah, I wanted to contribute. You no, know, you you guys, you know, you like polls and stuff. Then yeah, because I I could have been that guy and just donated that against like Crash One or Two, and then it would have been like at the last minute. Hey, look, we're doing this one now. Like uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. No, no, that, that's for that's for everybody else. I'm that's just my contribution. Don't worry about it. It's fine. 
fair enough, dude. But thank yeah, you so, so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank that's you. incredible. No yeah. worries at all. It's quite weird, actually, because we were just uh, earlier today before the stream. I was at a car dealership with my eldest and we were talking to the guy that was selling us the car. And he was saying that his brother recently got diagnosed with diabetes, which is really weird. And he was saying he was 12 years old and he's having to go to school with like needles and shit. And uh, he's yeah. being picked on like hell because of it. And oh, it's man. like, oh, what is wrong with people? I would just if I was in that position, I'd just grab the needles and shove them in everyone's faces, you know, but, you know. <laughs> You can't you can't do that at a school, so yeah. yeah. Well all the same, uh, thank you so so <laughs> much, Caddy. Um not just for the donation, but for joining us at all. No, um, thanks it, for the invite. Yeah, I, I, I if I knew how to do if I if, I mean I'll I'll have to talk to you guys in the future because I'd love to do charity shit myself. I just I don't know where the hell to start. So I'm def I'll definitely um hit you guys up and when I have time I'll figure that all out myself. But whenever I can do it for to help out with anybody else, I'm there like immediately. As long as I'm not hosting and everything can go wrong on my end, I'm fine. So, yeah, that's the thing I worry most about. Like, hey, everybody, we're gonna beat cancer. Oh, wait, no, the stream's dead. Okay, bye. Like, I, I don't. That's like my worst nightmare. So, I'm I'm glad that I get invited. It's really really kind of you to invite me. Thank you. Yeah, and thank, and just thank you so much for coming. And that's it for our crash race. Uh, Caddy won all three legs of it between the main game, uh, Future Tense, and Stormy Ascent. So. Thanks so much for joining, and stay tuned. We'll be back with TMNT. Bye.